Oh, wait, I don't use that. I use my PDF. <clears throat> I remember. <clears throat> Same. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So true. We're so alike, Ben. Oh, my God. Do I trust the author of this vault? Yes, I, I'm the owner of this vault. Just a cheapskate. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> Do I trust myself? No. No. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Especially not yourself. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> All right. Um, is everyone here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Pretty much. Good. GTG. Um, Has Will said anything the entire time? Hello. Okay. Hello, Will. Hi, hi, Will. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Good. Beautiful. Um, I'm just finishing up like one thing, and then I will get to the uh, recap. And don't you worry. Dragon kill time. What does everyone Do think it. of the current One D Weekly? I'm. I have not listened to it. to it yet, unfortunately. Oh, I'm loving it. It's great. Fern's very good. Will's has some good points. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. Okay. savage. Controversial. <laughs> Uh, I it, it's just not my style of music, but I I, I did listen to it, of course. Did you not like uh, his number three song a lot, Jim? Uh, the de no, that is one I skipped, <laughs> admittedly. <laughs> <That was me>. <laughs> <laughs> song. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I think that honestly would be the song you enjoyed the most, even if it weren't for the whole shtick to it. That's yeah. fair. You like a bit of doo wop, right? Do what? I mean. Yes, but why do I get the impression that that's not what that is? It's Satan Wop. It's, nice. Yeah, it's, it's satanic do Wop. Yes. <laughs> is it, uh, I thought it might be like the um, the clown core song I sent you the other day. It's uh, called, no. like, um, the overwhelming, overwhelming thoughts of the incomprehensible suffering or something, and it's just like a really chill song. Uh, no, it's a, it's a good song, but it definitely is about the devil not making them do it. Oh, fair. Yeah. The devil is mentioned. That's that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> and then I'll right. listen to phones? Okay, never mind. I am halfway I'm through. I started it. I, I think, just started um, I really enjoyed the start. Bobs along. I'm in the middle. Uh, I feel like I'm on a trip and I'm vibing. Yeah. So, yeah. You had the correct experience of of uh fun's playlist so far uh-huh uh -huh. uh i don't have uh, the foundry link i'll leave that, that <laughs> someone's got it it's fine i've got it i'll repost it thanks i reset i lost all my bookmarks <laughs> man that's such a uh, oh. <laughs> 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 And just, I was just, just yeah. If I, if I lost my bookmarks, I'd, I'd probably have a cry. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> you know, I didn't actually start bookmarking anything until about two weeks ago. You're insane. No crazy. You guys... no. hmm? Just use the uh, open tab strat, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably not to the extent that Jim does. I just, I, I just lost. What you're talking about. I just lost everything <laughs> all the time. I just d didn't have my life together. Uh, I just tend fine. to more often than not remember stuff, but this URL doesn't have Foundry or VTT in it. Yes, so. yeah, so it's not no, really it's, in my ballpark to remember stuff. To be honest, it's IP but... address. It's well, just my IP address. Two one six dot one three four dot seven five. How's that? Uh, I should probably, I should probably blur that out. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, on your YouTube.com. Yeah, I'll just. Someone's going to fucking hack me. Oh, oh is that I actually mean... your IP address? Ah, uh, probably. 
Yeah. I'll never tell. So, <laughs> we, we just DDoS it and see if uh, see if it um, drops out the call. Yeah. <laughs> see, the scariest thing is, if any of you try, you would probably get my dead name, and that's horrifying to me. <laughs> I'll just send you a friendly ping, a... don't worry. Yeah, I'll find just... it with a completely different name and be like, who the fuck's this? No, I'll, just, I'll just ping it 100,000 times a second or oh, something. Oh, thank you. No, I, was... I, I, I don't know how to do it. Yeah. I can't That's wait. That's a wheel not a Okay. Right, so. Um, last session was a strange one. Uh, you... Ended up going into the sewers, uh, looking for a particular doctor who knew a lot about poisons and the effects of poisons um, and uh, the ways in which people can die mysteriously. Um, no real reason why he knows this information. Don't worry about it. Um, he also had some strange knowledge about necromancy. Also, don't worry about it. Don't read into it. <laughs> He's fine. But he mentioned that he went to school under a possible necromancer, but also he never saw him do it, so, you know, you can't take his word for it, um, of a um, Dr. Ragnard, um, who was very well known in the west of the country. Um, you do it around for a little bit, and you met Keith, the um, sentient talking crocodile in the sewers, turns out to be a man who was turned into a crocodile for his crimes um uh you you know befriended him, befriended him quite quickly um and when you went to the bar you spoke to Ma uh, marin who was a merfolk and she had some good gossip and told you some more things about um the doctor that you were talking to and um some gossip around the rest of the country um had something to say about hendry's death as well um but you spoke to the doctor for a while, and he explained that the cup that you showed him uh, was laced with some sort of necrotic energy. Um, it definitely wasn't a poison, wasn't anything that could have been man-made. It was definitely a sort of death magic. Um, you took that information, and you have decided to carry on. Uh, with your journey um, to Bjorken, so you, you brunt Keith <laughs> down to the size of a small cat, um, and you've <laughs> taken this old man crocodile, like a purse dog, onto a ship with you, and you are headed out to Bjorken. That's pretty much all we really got up to, of worth. Um... Oh, what do you mean, of worth? Alright, <laughs> so... I got a ring. <laughs> you did get a I ring. Got and Gabba and... was throwing it back on. Oh Owen. yeah. Is that of worth to you guys? Absolutely. Okay, Me I'll, I'll being include. close proximity to Owen is worth mentioning for sure. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, every time. But we find ourselves at the docks. Um, of what fucking town are you in right now? <laughs> Stanet Barn. Stanet Barn! You're in the docks of Stanet Barn right now, um, and you are about to board a quite impressive uh, ship. It looks like it has um, it has a skull and crossbones that's sort of been like scribbled out, and they've just sewn a boat on top of it like it's been a reclaimed pirate ship at some point. Um, but you're all welcome to aboard the ship um, as long as you pay toll. Um, and, you know, declare what you have, uh, and they will be setting off shortly. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do um, before you board the boat? Is there anything that you want to do um, around the docks beforehand, or any conversations you want to have? Uh, we don't have any money, so we can't really buy anything. Uh, don't know. Cool. Okay. I assume I'm probably coming down, so Gabba's going to be very quiet for maybe 20 minutes or you so. You are severely hungover. This is oh, the yeah. worst hangover you've ever had in your life. You have vague <laughs> recollections of talking to a rat uh, in the sewers. Um, you're pretty convinced he was God, um, but, you know, you can never be sure. Uh, I assume yeah. that is the same for me as well. 
Well, you didn't meet the rat, so... <laughs> I mean, as in just the, the hangover. The hangover, yes. Okay. You sort of remember, um, like, a very beautiful lady throwing it back on you. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> in the bar, and that's all you can remember from the night. You definitely don't think it was Gabba, but you do sort of have a, a, a stench wafting around you today. Probably unrelated, who knows? Not me. But yeah, you all um, approach the boat, um, and there's a, a half-orc man uh, stood at the docks, uh, letting people onto the boat after taking a toll. Um, and he like nods at all of you, seeing you approach. Um, it was like, morning. Good day. Wait. Howdy. <laughs> Good day, Esquire. Good day, oh, that's not me. <laughs> that's the other guy. <laughs> Hello. Morning. You all boarding the boat? Uh, to uh, mm. Bjorken, I believe. Yes, sir. That is where we're headed. What'll be the uh, the fee? Uh, one gold ahead. Yeah, seems reasonable. All right. Uh, any pets, animals, or weaponry? You can. Uh, we well? we have weapons, and we have our pet pet gator. Wonderful yeah, miniature gator. Any any extra for him? Uh, Keith looks up at the guy. He's like, "Hey, up!" <laughs> he's like, "Oh." <laughs> He's uh, he's very uh, he's very polite and clean. He seems very polite. Uh, he can go on for free. It's fine. Um, it's he doesn't take up too much space. That's nice. Not what we're worried about. Oh, <laughs> okay. I won't ask too many questions about that. Uh, um, lest yeah. I go insane. So, <laughs> if you would all like to, um, you know, keep your weapons on you, please. Um, if you pull any weapons, you will be thrown overboard immediately. Um. Try to stay away from the magic as well, unless it's, you know, small things like, I don't know, like one-offs. As long as it's not damage-dealing stuff, uh, we'll be all right with you. Um, it's going to be about a day's travel, possibly two, depending on the weather. So um, there's beds, there's rooms, just find a spot, sleep in it. All right. Fine vessel here, did you... Uh... Can't help but notice the markings up there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just sort of found it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, there was uh, a fleet of ships out um, on the south coast. Uh, and this one was just sort of unmanned. Hanging completely. around, waiting for you. That's, that's... Yeah, just unmanned. Uh, so we thought, oh, there's no name on the deed. There's no paperwork that says this is owned by anyone, um, so we just took it back. Yeah, that's a that's a seems reasonable. It's a sturdy vessel. Yeah, uh, well, it's gotten us plenty of places, and it hasn't fallen apart yet. Um, don't think there's too many complaints about it. it. Seems like it's doing its job as a good ship. Huh. It, it is a little bit off-putting for a lot of people, though, with the flag. But yeah. you know, that's why we put the boat over the top. Can I like? I have zero insight. Can I have a go just to see? You can do an insight check, yeah. yeah. I just want to. I just want to see if like he's actually yeah. like a pirate, basically. If oh no, I just accidentally put proficiency in it. Let's not do that. Uh, oh god, that you bastards! I don't have Cheating. that. There you go. Uh, normal. Uh, Twelve. Oh. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> um, you don't get the vibe that he's a pirate and he's lying about his ship. You do sort of get a, a whiff of, I don't know if you're telling, being like fully truthful with me when he says there's not been any complaints. Well, yeah, I, I like him. <laughs> I guess. So, cool. yeah, he he seems fine. He just he is lying about the fact that he's had no complaints. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, he lets you all onto the boat. Um, there's not too many people aboard today. There's maybe like another six people. Um. But you're just free to hang about for a little bit. Um, it's going to be some downtime, so if you wanted to have some conversations between characters, then you absolutely can. If there's anything that you want to do specifically as your character, you absolutely can as well. 
Um, but if there's nothing pressing, uh, then I will just move it forward as I see fit. Um, is uh, there anything people want to do? I just wanted to uh, weapon bond, use my weapon bond also on my javelin as well. So, oh yeah, uh, so absolutely. Now I can, like, summon it to my hands, so I'll just spend an hour doing that at some point. Yeah, you can absolutely. There's like plenty of places to sit down. Um, I'm as... going to go and sit in a shaded bit, nurse my hangover, and <laughs> uh, very slowly continue to s- put sequins on my trousers. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, what's Owen doing? Without shining <laughs> any nice. Without shining any white into your eyes. Get him. Yeah. Um, can you fuck off and go sleep again? I, I, don't, I don't deserve this abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I want to solve me Rubik's Cube. Oh, are you going to try and have a go at your Rubik's Cube? Mm. Uh, roll a D100 for me, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, D100. 55. Um, you're sat there for a good like three hours. You are so hyper fixated, it's unbelievable. Um, at some point there's like a group of three people like looking over your shoulders because you've gotten so quick at it that it just it just goes. But you're not solving it, you're just doing it really quickly. <laughs> and they're really impressed with just how fast it is. And they think you're some kind of genius because clearly there's no colours on the box. Um, there's no colours on it whatsoever, so they think you're just like solving this over and over again, just for fun. Um, but you don't finish it, unfortunately. You've left it in a bit of a mess. Um, but you know, you had a really good time with it, and uh, a lot of people thought you were quite impressive to watch. <laughs> At least I had fun. You did. You had a lot of fun. Oh, oi, Jeff! Look, look at this guy. He can um. He can move those coloured things to the other side. <laughs> What's that? How does that work? Right? Fucking spins, Jeff. With his tiny little otter hands. <sighs> hey, I'm a beaver. Listen, we don't use bad language around here, alright? <laughs> <laughs> He's beaver a slur now. <laughs> 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 Only other beavers can call each other that. Oh, that's our word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find uh, you find a gnome stood next to you, uh, Pef and Jeff, who's just like, yeah, this guy fucking rocks. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> he solved that blank Rubik's cube a million times. It's incredible. Do you, could do it in one do you move. Think there's like a, there's some kind of nuts inside. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. It would explain why he's so motivated. Maybe he's just trying to break it. I can help you break it if you want. Eh? I can help you break it open if you want. Oh, no thank you. Um, I want to solve it. What do you mean, solve it? If I get all of the wood to match up on each side, I will get a special prize, I know it. Doesn't the wood already match? Hey, yeah, yeah, no. You what? You can see these fine details are slightly different. <laughs> Only a skilled <laughs> beaver can see this. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Can I have yeah. a look? Sure. I, I take the cube in my hands and I'm just staring at it deeply, and I cannot for the life of me tell the difference between yeah it's it's all Ooh. just like one color of wood as far as you're aware <laughs> yeah. it looks like it's just a, a a cube that sort of had lines drawn into it it looks the same <laughs> i just like stare at it stare at caster and just pass it back i'm just okay. staring blankly at you whatever you say buddy that's that's an amazing skill you've got there. Fucking okay, one eye blinks at a time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you watch this guy go for like three hours. It's insane. He just keeps he just keeps going at that cube. <laughs> Nothing is happening at all. Yeah. But everyone's yeah. just enamoured with it. It's like, whoa. He's just not giving up. It's incredible. I thought I was obsessive with my bloody book. <clears throat> You, yes, you don't stick your tongue out as much as he does, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Um, are you going to be doing any studying, Jeff, or asking any questions, or reading up on anything? Uh, 
Yes, I would like to mm-hmm. study my book. Is there anything in particular uh, that you're looking for? Uh, yes, yes. The mm-hmm. uh, the the subject to it to wit the doctor was speaking. So man man made death magic. So all about and, necromancy. Yeah. Any any information that I might already have on necromancy, I'm taking a little gander. Mm-hmm. So this is information that you've already gathered. Is this like a book that you're writing and adding information to? Uh, um, yes. And being guided by, you know, external forces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like linking all the pages together and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. You've got those hyperlinks going that you can flick between yeah. pages. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have a little look through your book um, and you can you can feel the pages start to turn for you to get to a certain section. Um, there's a piece of history um, surrounding the titans that created the island. Um, one of which uh, is um, about Agridorn, which was uh, the creature that first died uh, in the fight and his body became the earth that the tree grew from um there's nice um (laughs) there's rumors that part of him was like retrieved and saved and it was like the original part of his body um and there's been a lot of links between rituals trying to bring him back and uh, some weird behaviour in, like, the forests. Um, So things started, uh, like, needing more water, needing more fertiliser. Less animals were around during the summer. Uh, There was less animals having, like, offspring. Um, Just everything was sort of a bit off, but nothing was quite dying. Um... But there was talk of a druid coven um, that was hellbent on bringing Agridorn back using this piece of him. Um, And it eventually sort of became this closed off, um, like a very small but closed off forest that was like so isolated but so dense. Um, And that's pretty much all you can find about it, but there's some talk of necromancy being born in that sort of practice that started happening. Mm. Right. Interesting. Yeah, you feel like the, the pages sort of flick over and there's like a very wet fingerprint on the paragraph <laughs> that just appeared. <laughs> Death just writes in red ink, visit, question mark, and then closes the book. (laughs) Uh, You feel sort of a... um, You look over the side of the boat and there's... You're like in your element here, like everything is water, fucking everywhere. Um, When you write visit, you see a fish come out of the ocean holding a piece of parchment that says, yes! (laughs) And then Sorry. gives you a little fish thumbs up and he dives back down. <laughs> fish thumbs up. I give a fishy tiefling thumbs up back. Wonderful. So, all right, that's settled then. <clears throat> right. Well, Jeff, uh, Jeff knows what he wants to find out then, where uh, this old weird little forest is. Wonderful. I know, I know it out of character, but... Speaking of which, uh, the remember the the cheat sheet you sent us, mm-hmm. and you like color coded all those locations. Uh huh. The map for me, it has the circles on it at one point or another. Those yes. dots are gone now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the dots, okay. The dots were never there for me when I. What? what <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up? But I had the dots. I remember seeing the dots. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, they're gone. That's nerve wracking. Let me check. <laughs> Talk it's amongst fine. yourselves for a moment. 
because <laughs> I was like, oh, I know where that'll be. It's in this area. And I looked at the map and I'm like, that map means nothing to me now. Uh oh. I still on there for me? Question mark. Ah, uh, let me see if. Oh, I can't see shit. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. It's fine. It's, yeah, it's weird because like, nothing should have changed. I still have the map there, obviously. It's just there's mm. no dots on it. How weird. Yeah. Mine's still got dots on it. Can you snip it and send it me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, if you could just dump it in the D&D &D chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be perfect. Yeah, yeah. I'll just paste it at the bottom of mine. But well, this is just, you know, between Goff and his uh, patron. Mm. His very chatty, very <laughs> friendly patron who sends him fish to give him thumbs up. <laughs> he's very keen, yeah. yeah he's a nice, he's keen, nice guy. No worries. Where the fuck's it gone? I've literally just had it up. Yeah, why have, oh. an, why have an edgy patron when you can have someone who's just like, fish! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty cool guy. Um, right. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, bless you. Hell. My oh, goodness, oh. granddad. <laughs> I just came out. Whoa. Oh. Congrats. Oh. Yeah, congrats. Listen, huh? I've always been an ally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so they like highlight when you click on the thing so they come up clearer. Um, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it's weird. Mine, straight up, are not it's, there anymore. not there at all. <laughs> No, I'll there's just no dots. Oh, it, it won't let me save the image um, for some snippy. reason. What do we so dots? It. It'll be in terrible uh, resolution, but it'll be something. That's fine. As long as I roughly see it, I can compare it to my high resolution. Though. Yeah, no, of course. Um, where are we? D&D's notes. There you go. Mm. Thank oh. you. Oh. There you go, nice and clear. There you go, guys. You could use that as a reference. <laughs> I got you. Thank you, bestie. No worries. Right. Um, Pef, uh, is there anything that you are wanting to do specifically while you have this couple of days off? Uh, I'll make sure that, that Keith's all right. I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll have a chat to, to Jeff about how nice the water is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keith, Keith is looking overboard a lot of the time. He, he insists on being carried on your guys' shoulders like a little shoulder cat. Um... And he just he curls himself around, so he's got like his front half on one shoulder and his back half and his tail wrapped around your neck, like not in a threatening way, but just to hold on. Um, and he just like will hang out with whoever hangs out with him. He's just a, he just likes conversation. Um, he'll be like you know pointing out things in the ocean and be like, oh yeah, I used to be on the sea for a little bit. Me, I used to be a sailor. It's a lovely time. I, I don't believe you. What I mean? Oh, why don't you believe me? Come on, look, look at me. I'm made for look the water. at your little hands. How are you gonna pull rope with little hands like that? Oh, I wasn't this little until you fucking shrunk me, big man. Uh, 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 Not that it's a bad thing. Hands. I appreciate it, but I didn't always have these little grippers. Uh, mm, you don't just turn into a croc. <laughs> what? No, I I was a man. <laughs> We've been over this. I was a man, right? I, I apparently did crimes, which I'm not fucking aware of, so they turned me into a crocodile. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. You don't have to. Good. That's the magic of mystery. <laughs> <you know? laughs> believe That's what you need how, to. how every conversation will go. Then. I don't believe you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to believe me. It's cool. Um, yeah, he, Keith is around for questions and conversation, if anyone wants to speak <laughs> to him. He's um, technically like an ally you have now. Ally! Ally! <laughs> yeah, ask him about his opinions on gay rights. He loves them. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> I, 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 I would like to ask him. You said uh -huh. they, uh, they changed you for your crimes. W yes. What were they? They said that I was apparently eating people, which is a fucking lie. I mean, it's in character for you now, right? Well, yeah, because well, they they would they would turn people into animals based on their crimes, right? Right, yeah. Um, and apparently I was eating people, so they thought 
I, they would turn me into the monstrosity that I wanted but to they, be or something stupid. They were doing that in the sewers, right? They were eating people that were... They were eating a pig that had been a person, right? Yeah, but because it's technically a pig now, then they don't really give a shit. So, Seems like kind of a double yeah, standard. Yeah, yeah exactly it's totally what, fucked what up. he said. Listen, listen, that's why I'm a vegan, you know? Yeah, the the injustice <laughs> yeah. is real. Oh, well, I was a vegan, but now I I, I crave it because of well, the, you know... It's your biology now, I suppose. Yeah, you We do. all crave a bit of meat sometimes. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, you grow out of it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get over it. Mm. Oh, huh. well, that, that's terribly unjust, and I, I really feel for you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I think one day, hopefully I'll go back to bigger size and become a man again, because if I turn into a man at this size, I think my life would be quite sad. Well, yeah, yeah, I imagine so. Well, well I, I'll i do whatever I can to find some magic to change you back, and I, I think I speak for the rest of these guys. If that's what you I- want, we'll get it for you. I appreciate you, Mr. Churfield. I do. What if we uh, turn him back into a human and he uh, tries to eat us? Well, uh... and he, he points a little crocodile finger at you. Listen here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that because I've never eaten anyone before. Look, Keith, you don't know if you're coming or going. You well, said you don't remember whether you ate someone or not. No, I. they, they said that I ate people. That I, don't, mm. I remember my life for the most part. The only bit I don't remember is when they turned me into the fucking crocodile. I don't remember where I was, who it was that did it, because that whole thing was just sort of like... Uh, I, it was like getting fireballed to the face. It was very quick. Um, but I never ate anyone. As far as I remember. <laughs> but I doubt yeah. I ate anyone five minutes before the crime, uh, you know, before the jury was up. If and, if and that be your truth, key. <laughs> The crocodile, you can, uh, that's a bit bad. redundant, but I appreciate it. Uh, well, just so we're all on the same page, here. I know what I am. <laughs> I looked into the waters of that sewer every day. <laughs> I know what I am. Well, those uh, those sewer gases can give you a the that va- fucking word I'm looking for the vapors. <laughs> The vapors. <laughs> I did have quite a bad case of the vapors. That is true. <laughs> yeah, this this fresh air, if anything, is making my eyes sting a little bit. Can I? Uh, can I pet Keith? <laughs> are you are you Love. asking Keith in character? <laughs> Keith, can I? Uh, can I give you a little uh, pet on the uh, the snout? Boop the snoot, as it yeah. were. It's platonic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. I ain't looking to get off with a crocodile. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that ain't in my nature. No, I, I understand that. It's all right. I doubt I'd be up to par I, as well I in just, this body. <laughs> I just think you're a cute little guy. Well, that's... Whether, whether you ate people or not. See, part of me, that is a small crocodile, quite likes being called that. The other part of me, which is a 55-year-old man, <laughs> feels a bit patronised. But go ahead. Give me a little scratch. <laughs> no, go on. Don't that's laugh. A, that's boop, so new. That's just boop. Um, he does that thing where crocodiles purr. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and his little tail is wagging a little bit. He's like, oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, stop it. Hold on. <laughs> oh. That's quite nice of you. Me making him a little armadillo friend when I can. Oh, are you going to make him a little partner? Yeah. How <laughs> oh, nice. I'm going to artifice one. Speaking Ugh. of, while mm-hmm. we're on this uh, boating journey, yes, you're up to date. Uh, do a little, little crafting. What are you looking to craft? A little scheming. Well, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this bit in character. Looking at the list of magic items that I Look can at the craft. list of magical <laughs> items that I can craft. <laughs> oh. <Thank> God. <laughs> uh,. It's looking like I can make uh, something called a uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> a fuck. I, a, 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 uh, a fuck. I can make a shallot, shall, shallot, shallot. Then you don't have to do this in character, Rianne. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> I, I fully believe that was just Rianne trying to speak. I can make me a charlatan's dice. Okay. The six-sided dice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it produces the number I want. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, Cheeky. 
what sort of materials do you have in your bag right now? What sort of items do you have? Or do you want to scavenge from around the boat? Well, uh, I reckon I only need a little bit of wood. Uh, and I'm, no I'm sure away. this boat has plenty. <laughs> I'll just take a small bit out of the boat yeah, from the bottom. Yeah, just chop a little bit off the uh, bit that goes up in the middle. And uh... anyone know what that's called? Feel free to pick the it. Mast. The bit the that's up in the middle. <laughs> the most famous parts of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. I'm just thick as up in the middle. It's almost, we also uh, spent a, 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 a good evening playing a lot of Black Wake, where yeah, the map yeah, has been fixed yeah, and timed yeah. numerous times. So if I could uh, whittle me a little uh, little dice off the mast of this ship, then that'd be uh... also, You're not taking off the mast of the ship. It's the most visible part of the ship as well. <laughs> you knew carving a piece out of it. <laughs> You have the entire ship and you chose possibly the worst part. The thing stood uh, in the middle that everyone can see from You should try the captain's <laughs> wheel next instead, Rian. I've got uh, I've got some tinkerer's tools and a small knife in my board. <laughs> if you harm the wood, I'll know. Uh, um, one of the sailors approaches you, it's like eyeing up the mast and then pulling a knife out, and he just puts he puts his hand on yours and just goes, Don't <laughs> Uh, I respect that, sir. I respect that. <laughs> Thank you. No, no disrespect, man. <laughs> Thank you. Please be aware of the rule of if you bear weapons, okay? Oh, it's someone might it's, see it's, that knife it, as a weapon. Okay, it's I get it. A weapon. I know, but understand if someone else sees you do that, you're getting thrown overboard. Understood, yeah. sir. Understood. Yeah, cool. absolutely. As long as we're under the same sort of idea, please don't take wood from the ship. <laughs> You're on it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try not to. Thank you. There's spare. There's so much scrap downstairs. Oh, is it? Scrap. Oh, okay. Caster's yeah, got okay. spare wood. He's playing with it all the time. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about trying to take his little Rubik's cube. But, uh... Oh, and just pop one of the cubes <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, pop it off. <laughs> so it can never be completed. <laughs> uh... <laughs> but I think uh, I think he'd have something to say about that. Hey, I'm walking in. <laughs> That's pr- about it. Uh, <laughs> yes, if I if I can go down to the low decks and maybe yeah. find a scrap piece of wood. Yeah, uh, you can walk yourself down into the the kitchens. Um, there's there's a there's a chef there. He is a uh, very very large bugbear. Um, mm. he is like hunched over with his fucking like back and shoulders pressed against the ceiling. Um, and you can see he's sat on a very small stool and he has a pair of very small reading glasses. Oh. And he's reading a little book, and he looks up at you and he goes, Good morning. Well, boy, howdy. Um, looking for food, or...? Uh, more looking for, uh, just spare a little bit of wood. Oh! Well, um, and he sort of goes to stand up and realises this is as far up as he can go, and he goes, Oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, mind yourself there, sir. Sorry, I'm quite large. I, I can <laughs> um, tell. There's some over here, and he sort of like has to squeeze his way around like he's a a, a man in a small cage. Um, and he reaches behind him to grab a um like an empty barrel, and he just grabs one barrel with one hand and just hands it to you Bloody and up. puts it in front of you. That one's quite empty. Um, if you would like, oh, what do you need it for? Like it. I just want to uh, do a little little whittling. Ooh, a whistler. A I'm a, yeah, absolutely. Do you have any examples? I'm quite interested. Oh well, let me uh, have a look through my uh, my sack. Yeah, mo- most of my whittling I leave at home. You know, I don't take it on my uh, adventures with me. Uh, Please do look through your sack. I- I'll have a look through my sack here. Uh, oh fuck me. Um, what do I have? Uh, can, can I can I proffer my crossbow and 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 tell him that I whittled this? You were oh. just told not to present weapons. Shit! What do you oh. mean? No, oh, I'm not going to do that. Do so you pull your crossbow do out? It. No, 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 no,
I, I, I whittled these arrows for myself. I made those. Weapon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's literally there's not a single thing in my inventory that couldn't be used as a weapon. I've got a hammer, a crowbar, a pit on. I've got some rope, a knife. Uh, well, you just show him the rope. With wood. <laughs> just show him the rope and say you whittled the rope. <laughs> <laughs> But well, yeah, I, I don't have anything on me right now. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I must have left my Whitland bag at home. Oh, but, well, uh, that's quite I, all right. I'm quite good. I'm quite good. Maybe I could oh. build something for you. Oh, oh, I'd be delighted. I would. <laughs> Fantastic. What would what, you like? Well, I'm currently reading this book um, about um, like wildlife and other continents. It's quite riveting. Um, I love animals. I really do. So... <clears throat> Anything around that would be lovely. Oh, fantastic, sir. Well, I'll uh, I'll work on that for you now. We've got a, a couple of days, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll will you something good. I'm quite excited to see it. Well, What's I'm your just... name? Uh, Ransom. 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 Lovely to meet you, Miss Ransom. Lovely to meet you too. I uh, didn't get your name, sorry, sir. Oh, my name. My name. I don't really have one. Most people <laughs> just call me Chef. Um, I was sort of abducted from an island oh. a while ago. Um, uh, but sorry, by who? But, you know the pirates. What? That are on uh, the these ship. fellas? Well, I've not been allowed outside the kitchen. I have heard different voices around, but oh, uh... I, I don't... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so you're not here on your own volition. Well, I've gotten comfortable. <laughs> uh, well, I see that, sir, but uh, I, I, I do believe that slavery may be uh, wrong. No, 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 no matter... I'm, being, I'm being paid all of a sudden. It's quite oh, nice. right, you're being paid. Yes, okay. um, I was here for about a month, um, you know, just doing all the chef, uh, chef work and cooking and stuff. Um, and then suddenly, like, a, a new captain came in and he started oh. paying me. It was quite good. Oh, are you, are you happy here? Would you like to leave or stay or? Well, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing all right. Okay. <laughs> they well, did something uh... to me that I can't quite remember my name or where I came from, so I guess I'm quite happy here. <laughs> They've procured me with quite a few books, though. Oh, that's good. You know, always do a bit of, bit of you, look, you look deeply uncomfortable at this interaction. No, <laughs> are you sure it. you're okay? You know, I, I just get a little seasick. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, oh. not, not too used to being on the high seas. I'm more of a, a landlubber, I, as it were. I was, I was the same for the first few months. Um, care for a bucket? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I've got this barrel here that you gave me. Uh, oh, uh, but you're going to whittle out of it. Don't vomit on it. Oh, I, I'll just vomit off the side. I don't want it to uh, permeate. Uh, don't I think you it. said vomit enough times that Gabba will appear around the doorway. It? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even appear around the doorway. You just look around, he's just stood behind you. <laughs> so oh, Lord. Oh! Speaking, of, speaking of permeate. Oh! Hello, what? sir. Great, you, Gabba. What? You say vomit. Oh, yeah. Well, Miss Ransom here says she's feeling quite seasick all of a sudden. So I, I, get, I offered her my, my bucket, which I use quite frequently. Wait, there's, there's a bucket? Yes. Does everyone vomit in the bucket? Well, I did for quite a while. But like, is it like a communal bucket people vomit in? No, most people just stay upstairs um, on the on the deck, so they just throw up off the side. Um, I've been down here most of the time, so I need a bucket. Right, right. Would you like it? Are you feeling seasick? Are you well, sir? Hmm. Well, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'm well. Uh, <laughs> he looks you up and down quite quickly. <clears throat> okay. It's a nice kitchen you've got here. I'm going to touch as many things as possible. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, what's this? Minutes. Wow, what's this? Wow. <sighs> no, um, it's uh, that's just my... Favorite spoon. Um, it's fine. Um, do you, are you here for a reason? <laughs> I heard vomit, and I thought I'd, you know, thought there was vomit. He's I'll go slow back blinks. to my. Uh, he slow blinks and looks back at you, Ransom. 
This is your son. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't quite put it that way. He's just a, a small little fella that's kind of come into my... Uh, I don't want to say care. Uh, I believe She's just he's... in my orbit. Don't worry uh, about uh, it. Yeah, I believe he is a fully grown man. Um, oh, sorry, sir. Goblin. I, 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 Goblin, I sorry. Oh, we are of the same gene mm. pool. I didn't recognise you as a goblin at first because of the boils. <laughs> So yeah, you're, have that effect. You're, you're a goblin too. Well, I, a bugbear, um, sort of in the same vein as a hobgoblin, and then we go uh. down into, you know. So we're like distant cousins. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely thought? It's like it's <laughs> like a, it's like a guinea pig and a capybara. Technically the same. <laughs> so we're related then. Possibly. Where's my birthday present? Well, I've only just met you, sir. But we're related. You need to get your family something for, for birthdays. Have we proven that we're related? You just said we were. I said we might be. I asked and you said yeah. In right. the same sort of Ransom. species. Ransom. Didn't they just say we're related? Uh, I don't know, Gabba. I wasn't really listening and I don't care to get involved in whatever... Yeah, I'd, I do actually have a, a present for you. Um, oh. and he, he hands <laughs> you the, the vomit bucket oh. that has never been cleaned. It's just seeped into the wood. Oh, wow. It must be related. Uh, you seem like a, a man of taste. I've already skipped away with the bucket. I'm gone. I'm okay. <laughs> hang out with Ian again. Yeah. Well, Ian. Um... <laughs> Whatever his name is. I'll, oh, uh, we... I'll take my leave now, sir, but I'll, uh, I'll go and whittle you that thing and maybe go and uh, have a chat with my party about your situation. I look forward to it. Oh, yes, of course, if you want some food. Um... Uh, I'm, you know. I'm all right for now. The the stench of that little guy can really uh, turn your stomach a little oh, bit. Oh, it's, a, but, it's uh... a good thing I kept the lid on the um on the honey porridge. Yeah, you yes. might want to throw that spoon away. By the way, I'll uh, it's I'll, gone. I'll, I'll see to whittling you a new one. I think it disintegrated the second you <laughs> touched it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, I've got my bucket. Uh, whatever barrel. You got your uh, barrel that you're I'd dragging like upstairs. upstairs. I'll drag it upstairs if I can, you know, uh-huh. if I can find a quiet corner to uh, have a little bit of a whittle in. He sort of him. like crawls his way to the door, like on yeah. all fours, and like pushes oh. it up the stairs for you. <laughs> oh no! And then he waves at you as you close the door. <laughs> Good- goodbye, sir. Bye. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Bye, Dad. If you want food, absolutely. Yep, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wicked, yeah. So I'll just, uh, yeah, if I can, <laughs> if if I can make some stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you could roll me a d twenty, a d twenty with your proficiency bonus, please. Proficiency in what? Yeah. Oh. So add your proficiency. Yes, 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 yes. To the roll. Why doesn't it on this roll when you press that? That's annoying. Whatever. Um D uh, twenty? Nope. Nicely done. I'll work it out one day. I'll work it out one day. Uh R D twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Oh my and that twenty. Two. So yeah, not twenty, twenty two. Um <clears throat> yeah, what do you want to make? Literally anything. Well I'd like to make my dice and if I could make this fella a uh, a spoon. Your and, weighted uh, dice are so convincing like anytime <laughs> anyone like if you were to hand it to someone so they could test the weight the weight is evenly distributed just out of pure will alone you just change the number every time oh, it rolls fantastic. it just works and no one's gonna ever be able to figure out that it's weighted because it feels like it's been perfectly made in every single way <laughs> you make a very delicate spoon it's beautiful uh, you'd never have thought it came from the wood of a barrel. <laughs> how thin it was! It's insane how you managed it, but you've used some of like the the metal um, like slats along along the edges to like accent it as well. Oh, and it's just it's lovely. You make oh. all sorts, and you leave like half a barrel that can be used as just a bowl. <laughs> and it's just can I make him useful. a little a little animal as well? Yes, you can. A little guy. You can make him a little animal. Of course, I'll you make can. Him, uh... What do I want to make him? Uh, 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 fuck. I can't think of any animals. Hippopotamus. 
Yes, you make a lovely little hippopotamus. Wonderful, fantastic. He's very plump and very round, and you even get the details <laughs> on the face, and it looks lovely. <laughs> fantastic, awesome. Yeah. Are you? Uh, did you say you were planning on talking to your party about that interaction? Probably, probably, probably a good idea. Uh, I'd just like to do that. Where Where are they all at? Um, you can see them dotted around. Uh, Castor is very fixated on his Rubik's Cube. Um, he's sort of like, he fell asleep for a 20 minute power nap, gripping onto the cube, then he's woken straight back up again and gone straight back to it. Um, <laughs> uh, Jeff is uh, yeah, sort of looking over the side of the boat, um, just admiring the view uh, of the ocean. Um, and you see him every now and then go back to his book and flipping through it. Um, the rest of them are just sort of milling around, um, unless there's anything specific people want to be doing or places you want to be. <clears throat> uh, that's sort of what's going on. Okay, can I gather them together? Gang yeah. some pots together, like in the middle, no, next to the mast. <laughs> next to the thing in the middle. <laughs> next, next to the thing in the middle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fellas! Go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, banging! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you have an overwhelming urge to throw up. Uh... <laughs> Can I roll to try and not be sick? Uh, yeah, do a constitution saving throw. Hog. A man just wants to use his new dice. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're throwing up. Uh, I got a seven. Yeah, you... Sick up in your mouth, um, and it's one of those really acidy burps that just stays with you for the rest of the day. Uh, and a bit of sick comes out and goes onto your sequined pants. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <sighs> I'm, really I, I'm going to find some water to wash my sequins with before going over to the loud lady. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a pail of like clean water. Um, <laughs> I pour a bit on my sequins. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'll be back in like half an hour, maybe. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Pef um, Pef forward. throws himself overboard. <laughs> 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 he just he, he says something about being insatiably thirsty and throws himself overboard. <laughs> <laughs> We've got him on a little tow rope behind the oh. boat, so we yeah, can, uh, yeah. You put yeah. him in a little rubber dinghy, and you're just sort of like <laughs> carrying him behind you. He must really love mermaids, fucking hell. Yes. Is that a bit of, uh, bit of vomit on your trousers there, Owen? Uh, uh, by this point, I've already washed it off. Owen? Did you just... Owen? Yes? I thought we had something, me and you. <laughs> yeah, it's called a hangover. Well, yeah, but I thought you were going to, you know... After a wonderful night we spent in... Uh, Stan it born together. Uh, not today, oh. Gabba. <laughs> I'll see how it is, and I'm going to go to the opposite side of the ship and find the next <laughs> darkest corner I can to be hung over yeah, on my he, own in. When he says that, Owen, you don't recall spending any time with Gabba yeah. last night. Just a beautiful <clears throat> lady throwing it back on you. Yeah. Does, does it not start piecing together? Slowly. Okay. Um, <laughs> the stench together, you look at him walk away. And he was like, oh, man. Yeah, and then, uh, him puts his... like yeah. yeah, I hate to see him go, but I love to watch him leave. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah it's at this point, though, and he's like, oh, no, and vomits over the side of the boat. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Ransom, you are calling everyone together. Um... <laughs> With much <laughs> success. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of them thrown off, one of them's dove into the sea, and the other one's walked to the back of the ship with a face yeah. on. <laughs> These fellas are mighty strange. Mighty strange. Keith is on Jeff's shoulders at the moment, and he just sort of like uses a tiny little crocodile hand to pat him on the side of the face and go, <laughs> "Ladies, calling us over, <clears throat> shall we?" What's the My God, he's, he's engrossed in his book. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, wake up! Oh, oh, what are you? <laughs> Come on, this way, lad. This way, lad. Come on. <laughs> Uh, where are we going? And All he right, ratatouilles well. your hair over the other way. Barry voice as well. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> oh, that's a bad so that's a Barry came out. Oh, no god. ratatouille, please. It's a great soundtrack. 
<laughs> the Gratitudes. <laughs> There's a fucking song in the official soundtrack of Ratatouille called The Credit to Me. That's what they named the song. Beautiful. It's incredible. No. Oh. Credit to me. <laughs> uh, you were all gathered around Ransom. Oh. <laughs> I'm still engrossed in my um yeah. cube. You cast her uh, as I, away with yeah, the fire. I, 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 I still am there. I'm very not of the thoughts of uh, Gabba, Gabba, Gabba's grinding. Jesus Christ, that's difficult to say. And I uh, pick Castor up and drag him along with us to the center of the ship, <clears> where <throat> hopefully Ransom is not banging things. Oh. <laughs> if you drag me over, then I'm just going to assume you just put me down. I'm just laying on the floor, still fiddling no, with no, I, I, I know, it's I know like a fucking still, iPad, kid. Yeah, I know you're still going to be <laughs> engrossed, but I'm hoping that you may hear some of it while you're doing the old reading skin. So, go ahead, Ransom. Yeah. We'll see. Well, fellas, uh, I'm Ev, uh, so I need, I need to whisper this. I yeah, mean, please. Banging pots and pans <laughs> to get everyone to <laughs> <cozy. laughs> Hey, fellas, I've got some top secret information for you all. <laughs> like, there's like five NPCs around the boat looking over. <laughs> don't, don't. It's just, just a conversation between party members only. Thank you. Oh, you're banging you. pots and pans like you wanted everyone's attention. Oh no, just just these guys that I hang around with. It's, it's hard to get their attention. So, so I, I, so go back to your. Uh, you know, oh, the pain. Whatever you're doing. Uh, fellas. I seem to have gleaned that uh, the guy below deck, who uh, only seems to be called Chef, may be being held here against his will. And that these guys may be pirates. Did he not... I wasn't there, but did he not <laughs> say that he... What did he say? Fuck. Well, he seemed to He said he was enough. related to me, first of all. Well, yeah, he's uh, a, a distant relation with uh, Gabba Grievitz yeah. over here. Uh, yeah. Don't know if that works in his favour or against, to be honest. Uh, against, against. I just think these maybe dangerous people we're on board with. Didn't he say that he was captured by pirates? But that was a while ago, and now he's getting Well, yeah, but... If if the pirates have captured the pirates, then surely these pirates are much more dangerous than those other pirates that got Oh my god, they too, take many, pirates. too many pirates for me. If he's if he's happy even, now, he's getting look, paid it, now. They're even worse than pirates. They're capitalists. <laughs> Ransom, I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not ready for, for pirateception. Can I'm we start as, this again? I, I'm as happy as anyone to leave this man to his indentured servitude if he's it's right, it's a deal. He's getting paid, right? I just wanted y'all to know that this may be a dangerous ship that we're on. And that we might want to be a little careful. Right, we should all go to sleep in the same place together then. All so right. we sh we shouldn't get any weapons up. out haphazardly then. Mm. No, probably shouldn't do that. Uh, may have already brandished my knife at someone by accident, uh, oh, and I may have been sitting in a corner whittling uh, with a knife, but uh, I don't think anyone <laughs> saw me do Party that. collectively uh, slaps the forehead. Is it, is it a <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you notice that Gabra and Owen do it a little less vigorously than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like a small forehead tap for us. <laughs> but anyway, you now have that information. Do with it what you choose. Uh, or go with me. Gabber, I think I'll do nothing with it. That's uh, fantastic. You know, I, I think it's better that we actually sleep quite separately, just in case, you know. So it's harder for them to take us all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we got to keep lookout on all the areas of the ship. As far, Come on, guys. As far away Everyone as knows it's safety in numbers. Well, maybe all, we all sleep at one side of the ship and Gabba sleeps at the other. Uh, why yeah. me? Uh, well, you've got the best eyes among us, sir. Uh... Keep oh. us safe. Watch over from the, maybe you climb yourself into the bird's nest and give it. Right. A... Uh, well, I do have six perception. That is true. Uh, plus six, in fact. <laughs> yeah. uh, seems like a crock of shit to me. Why don't we all just, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
group up. Gaggle goons that we are. <laughs> Why are you so smart, you smelly little man? What is that? <laughs> 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 Was that to me or Gabba? Well, no, please stay in that character, please. <laughs> huh? I think you've said it now, so it's canon. Mm -hmm. all right. Well, thank you, first of all, and second of all, what? Guys, do you want me to die? Well, it's like session three or something. Seems like you want to die, to be honest, sir. The rate you've been picking up diseases on our travels. <laughs> oh, right. Ever been bitten by a snake? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I think I actually might have. I, mean, I was a cowboy, so... Uh... You've right. absolutely been bitten by snakes. <laughs> yeah. So the more you get bit... Right. The more immune you are. Right. Unless so if you, I catch every disease... Well, exactly, but I've yet to die, have I? Oh, for me to be seen. Look, well, I mean, this could be purgatory, it is true. This ship could be the definition of purgatory, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway. Currently feels like it. Ugh. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be immune. Got to catch them all, you know? Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. We're getting that off logic. point. We're getting uh, off point. We're getting off point here. Trying to distract me, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to do anything of the sort. I'm going to sleep cuddled up to at least one of these party members. Well, I think you and uh, Ian uh, hit it off a little. Uh... It's Owen, you yes, crashed you... No, we, we you fought were, one out. You were getting very familiar nope. yesterday. <laughs> uh, me and Ian no longer best friends. Right, too much throwing it back on. One another and such. Well, no, he wouldn't throw it back up on me, though, is the problem. Oh, right. <laughs> it can confuse a friendship, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> too much giving, a little too little receiving in that. Yeah, that's uh, it. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Owen is a bit of a pillow princess, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, now what? yeah, look, Owen's not into stick play. What can I say? Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, it can't be me and Owen. We've, uh, you know, we've had a bit of a domestic. Right. Uh, Jeff, you and Jeff seem to... You mean Goff, yeah. Go get... Well... Yeah, we're good I friends. can't pronounce anyone's name today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Gabba's going to slowly gaslight you into believing that these are their actual names. <laughs> Ian <and> Goff. Ian <laughs> <laughs> That's always been their names. <laughs> yeah, look, I say how I sees it. <laughs> All right, well, Goff, and I'm going to pat Goff on the back. Looks like it's me and you banking together then. Uh, yeah, well, you didn't say no. <laughs> uh, you know I don't sleep, really. Oh, even better. You can look after my back perfectly then. I'll be the safest person. Oh. You could take double watch, in fact. Heath sort of pats you on the shoulder with his tiny crocodile hand. He's like, it's all right, mate. I've got you. Uh, what the I... fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who the fuck are you? I'm Keith. <laughs> what do you mean? You what? Yeah, you, this lot <laughs> shrunk me and brought me out. And I've been here for like the last like th 32 hours. What? 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 When the fuck did this happen? In the sewers, mate. What the fuck? When? <laughs> when? When? <are> you... <laughs> trying to work out if Tom genuinely doesn't remember Keith. I know. So, like, comically. <laughs> Gabba. Yeah, Gabba's yeah, Gabba was nowhere around. Right, okay. <laughs> to this crocodile. I've not even seen this thing. Tom was just having a <laughs> yeah. I was getting, like, cracked off of my rat god, you know? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, uh, and I, I had the benefit of speaking to Keith before I got absolutely obliterated, so I have some knowledge of this crocodile, but you went and talked to rats instead and then came yeah. and drank mega absinthe, so you've got no idea. <laughs> Keith sort of looks at you with your bloodshot eyes, and he just goes, you're the only one who can see me, Gabba. <laughs> uh, he says oh, that out loud for all of you to hear, by the way. God, I think I'm being gaslit by this little bastard. <laughs> by what bastard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a roll. 
Uh-huh. Do you want to do an insight check? Yeah, what do you want? Okay. Do it. Do an insight check. <laughs> I'll absolutely fucking full in. I really want it to be low. One, oh, where's one, my insight? One, one. Give me a one. Give me a one. Got, I have got a plus four to this. Give oh. me a one. Thomas! What's wrong with that? You just reamed. What's wrong with that, though? I actually don't know, unironically. You're going to put the one in front of the D. The, there's no. There's a space between the R and the 1. Yeah. No, no, no. And then no space to the Wait. D20. Ah. 18. God damn it. Oh. God damn it. Ooh. Like, wow. you, you get it. Like, there's a little guy there. But part of you's also like, maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's just a really powerful spell, but there's definitely something there. Right, right. I'll remember this. Oh, anyway, cool. Goff, come on. Sleepy cool. time. Okay, give it that one. All right. uh, is it really sleepy time yet? Well, we've just been, you know, around the ship and everyone said good morning to us, so I doubt it. <laughs> 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 You hear coming from um, the, the kitchen. I'll be, I'll be honest, I could happily go back to sleepy time. <laughs> I'm fucking sleeping, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> tell, tell, you, tell you what, yeah. Gavin. Why don't you take... Why don't you sleep now? And yeah. then you can take, take night watch, alright? Yeah. Well, hang on a minute. I, I thought we just established that Mr. I don't sleep can take all the night watchers because you don't fucking sleep. <laughs> Mr. Oh, fuck, we're going to end up doing it Mr. together, Mr. aren't you we? Are, you you are better yeah. stay up, Gather. <laughs> why, why the fuck have I been volunteered? You don't sleep. You can do all the watches. What else are you going to be doing? <laughs> no, no, you can sleep all night. You just have to stay up all day, okay? So you don't stay up all night. <laughs> oh, it's a rough deal, but I think I'll take it. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't it day now? No deal. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, but Gabba, you got to remember that we're on the ocean, so the time zone's different. So to you, it's night time, and it's time for you to have sleep. We're on international time now. Right, so what you're saying is, I can decide when it's night time. <laughs> Full stop. Yeah, it's actually quite <laughs> handy if you close your eyes. It's night time wherever you fancy. Right, that's that's all right then. Right, off to bed, boys. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Gabba's going to go find the darkest corner of this ship. He's aware that the party will not watch his fucking back. Mm, mm, mm. I'd like yeah. to high five Goth for a successful <laughs> gaslighting of Gabba. <laughs> you find your way down in like a cellar <laughs> where they hold like a lot. Yeah, there's just like a fucking like room where they hold like a lot of just like tools and stuff. <laughs> oh, I feel right at home, I do. Dark as shit, and it's kind of smelly. There's rats. It's. It's a perfect little bedroom for you, actually. See, I'm gonna make my nest. Cool. <laughs> um, was there any other point that you had to that conversation, Ransom? I just see if these guys would like to rescue the um, indentured <laughs> servant. Um, but apparently we're all good. So wonderful. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like. He's pretty All up. right, well, um, you have the rest of the day and an oh, evening shit. on this boat. Muted. Um, any last things you guys want to do or like <clears throat> anyone you want to speak to um, before you um, arrive at your destination? No, I'm good, I think. No. I'll just give my stuff that I made for the chef to the chef. Oh, absolutely, you can. Um... When you when about so you going down in like the evening time or go down in the evening time absolutely. Um, you can see him taking like a proper dad nap. He's got his arms. Cr- <laughs> he's sat down till and he's got his arms crossed, and he's just got his head back, and he's snoring very lightly. Hello, sir. Sir. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. So, so, sorry to wake you. Sir. Sorry, I I was quite sleepy. Hello. Um, oh. Ransom. Ransom. Shit. How has your trip been? Oh, you know, it's it's been all right. I feel a little bit less sick now. Good. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, so your breakfast this morning was absolutely fantastic. <sighs> Thank you. A very good chef. And I, uh, I, I brought you a little token of my appreciation. 
Um, I, I proffer to him the little he, hippopotamus and the little spoon. He he takes the spoon that looks tiny in his hands, um, <laughs> and the hippopotamus, which is even smaller. <laughs> and he looks up at you with these big wet eyes. Oh. <laughs> this is the greatest gift I've ever been handed. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Ain't no problem, sir. So I'm getting a little bit choked up here. I, uh... I am indebted to you. Oh, of wow. your kindness and your friendship. Well, if you need anything at all, uh, ever, you can just send me a letter. I'm sure it'll get to me somehow. And you, I. Uh, well, uh, absolutely. If you need anything of me, if you... I will have to think of a bugbear name. <laughs> Because if you call <laughs> if you call for me, I will find my way to you. Oh, really? <laughs> Truly, of course. That's us. Any time, sir. Any time you want. You've offered such friendship to me. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> I appreciate you greatly, Mister Chef. Well, um. Oh, I love him. I, <laughs> I feel like the. I'm not sure. I've been wearing the same clothes for about a year now. Um, But I believe some people said that there was tags in the back of my shirt. There might be something on there that you could call me. Oh, I can have a look if you want. He just sort of like shuffles himself around. (laughs) (laughs) Leans down as far as he can. (laughs) Grab his tag. Up a gander. Um, there's, there's like a little tag that's been like embroidered, um, and it has the word "tonk" on it. Yes, fantastic. I believe your name is Tonk, sir. Well, if you're giving me that name, madam, then I shall take it with great honour. Well, my friend Tonk sounds absolutely fantastic, sir. He turns back around to you, fully weeping. Thank <laughs> you. It's, it ain't no, it ain't no problem. I will like, name, I will wear that name with great honor. I Tonk. feel like I've changed his little life. Oh, I'm so happy. He looks down at his spoon in his hand and he just goes, "Oh, <laughs> my greatest day." Well, I hope you cook some mighty fine meals with that, sir. I'll, uh, I'll leave I... you to your napping now. Thank you. I don't think I shall sleep, good madam. I think I shall think about this and write in my journal. <laughs> Please don't let me keep you any longer. Well, I'll see you I'm later. I'm quite a mess. But... No, absolutely. Like I said, if you ever need to uh, write a letter, you uh, make it happen. Once I figure out how to write, I shall. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'll go and I'll go and rejoin the boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I love uh, improv, man. <laughs> I love D&D. It is so good. <laughs> I love D and I didn't think his oh. name was going to be uh, Fruit of the Loom at first. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I know. I thought. It was gonna... Yeah. <laughs> it's M slash L. <laughs> <laughs> My name XXL. Yeah. You join the rest of the party. Uh, sort of covered in bugbear tears. <laughs> I've just had an experience and I'm back for these folks. Yeah, yeah, you go back upstairs and Castor is still just sort of yeah. staring at the cube. Yeah, there's a couple of tears in my eyes. You know, I'm... yeah. Uh, is there anything else anyone else has been doing uh, <laughs> this last day or so? Castor, have you been focused on this cube, or have you been uh, looking around the rest of the ship? Um, I think I would probably just look at, the, just mess with the cube the entire trip. The entire two days was spent looking at. The cube. <laughs> yes, that's incredible. With naps in between, obviously. Yeah, of course. You have to have the power nap yep. to get back to Cuban. <laughs> I will. Been nice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, at least you know that it's an accurate thing that a top human yeah. would do. Yeah. 
Listen, I can't culturally appropriate. I have to go to outside sources. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, but yeah, over the last uh, evening or so, um, the sun rises on the next day, uh, and you see yourself arriving at a port town. Um, Jeff, it's very familiar. This is where you would have left um, to go to the um, Eternal Land. Uh, this is like the main port that you would have left from, uh, from the depths and this sort of area. Um, so it's, it's, it's dredging up some memories, but it's a really lovely sunny day. Um, you don't feel any sort of negativity in the air around this place. Uh, you do feel sort of like that looming sense of dread, but nothing that's so bad. It just sort of feels like there's someone over your shoulder right now. Mm. Mm. So, you arrive. Um, you arrive at the port town and you've made your way down to Bjorken because uh, it's not quite somewhere where you can just like port and get in. Uh, but you've journeyed from um, Aberhond. Uh, that's, that would have been the main port that you entered. Um, and you spend a couple days travelling down to Bjorken. Uh, but you get there fairly quickly. Um, and you are met with a town that is, like, on the edge of this massive, massive lake that could probably be seen as a small ocean, um, because it is just, it's absolutely huge. Um, and... You should... Hopefully, move over to a new map. It's trying. It's trying hard. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Here we are. <clears throat> you arrive. This is Bjorken. You've had to. Um... Very colourful. It's a lovely map, oh. isn't it? Oh god, it, it keeps zooming. Oh my god, it keeps going. Oh my god. Okay. It's lovely. Yeah, you arrive at Bjorken. Um... What's so this you... made of? <laughs> Take a fucking guess. Is it wood? <laughs> it's wood! Yeah! It's very salty, um, seaweed flavoured uh, wood. A stinky wood. That's what people like to be welcomed by. It's a, it's a stinky, stinky wood. It's like half of it's rotted, half of it's just like decayed oh. from salt oh. and seawater. Um, there's some barnacles, you know, clutching to it. You know, That's it's. Wood. It, so it's a proper. Port Town Wood. This is the wood that you could get drunk on, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you will arrive. Um, so you are free to do what you will. The, uh, whatever you were planning on doing in this town. Um, it's the beginning of the day. Uh, there are some shops around, there's some markets, there's an inn quite close to the dock. Um, so you're free to do whatever you would like. So if there's anything specific that you are looking to do while you're here... Now is your chance. We we can do, we can get in at this gate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. Heckle voice. Oh my oh. god, he's back. Hello. He swims up to shore. We've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking you pull the dinghy in. Somehow it doesn't look that wet, despite. It. Having been in the ocean <laughs> the last day. <laughs> yeah, he comes out of the ocean just like, sort of like flaky and dandruffy and <laughs> just <laughs> cracked lips, just really dehydrated. Ocean looks a little drier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tide's not coming in as quite as far <laughs> as it used to. It's a, a thin layer of salt on the, on yeah. top. Yeah. yeah, you're like one of those experiments where you boil the water away and you like have that like fresh salt at the bottom. Exactly, exactly. It's like icky to the touch. Yeah, you're a crispy boy. <laughs> I've always said that about myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're welcomed into this new town. There are people bustling everywhere. It smells um, like fresh seafood. There's you can smell like fires being lit. There's a beautiful waft of like fresh food. 
Um, there's music being played. There's just rockers of people moving around. Um, it's a really lively town. Um, Jeff, you've not been here for a few years now. Um, but it's slightly off the coast of where you grew up. Uh, this is definitely one of those towns that you would visit uh, every now and then to go and see the markets um, or go and see specific people. Um, and also to go and see um, the... Like, there were, there were tours a lot of the time. It was quite famous for tourists um, that claimed to show the entrance to, like, the in-world Atlantis. And, like, everyone knows it's very fake, um, but it's, like, a big thing. that It's kind of like uh, ghost tours, where everyone knows it's full of shit, but, like, you still go because it's just a bit of fun. So you're quite familiar with this town. I'm not sure if anyone else would have sort of travelled in this area. Um, obviously, if you feel like you would have been around here, then sure, absolutely. But this is very close to where Jeff grew up specifically. And bloody hope no one recognises me. Is it from a distance you were, oh, Jeff! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't know, just, just quickly when we're around the corner and down the spot. <laughs> Keith is on your shoulders just like, oh, are you not popular around here? Um, well, it's not really about popularity. Uh, Notoriety. Yes, maybe mm. that's better. <laughs> oh, what have you got? Like family round here? Do they disown you for something? Oh, I do have family, yes, yes, and I suppose did used to have quite a few friends. Oh. well, I went through the same with my family. Was that Sorry. before or before or after you ate people? I never ate people. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I know. <laughs> You're a cheeky bugger, aren't you? <laughs> no, I, I feel like I feel like me and you're in the same boat here. Well, <laughs> off the same boat, we. Um, <laughs> we. <laughs> we. But you know, we've good um, northern lad, this key. Good northern lad. <laughs> I, I do. I do think you. Um, you know, you you, you seem uncomfortable in this uh, town that you say you had family and that I disowned you. So it's all right. Uh, it's sort of like. Pats you on the shoulder again with a tiny little crocodile paw. I get it. Thank you for the solidarity, Keith. Yeah, it was the same when I told, you know, my family that I had a boyfriend as well, so. Oh. It's all right. Wait, get Keith, ready. hold on, hold You'll on. You'll find your people. <laughs> oh, you what? Said, you said boyfriend. Yes. You can talk? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> your friends swallow too much salt water. Could you uh, could you talk before you were so small? You spoke to me when I was larger. You you, you were there when I when I met him. You were there. <laughs> oh. I think he's got a touch of the ocean madness. I think he's got I think he's got the salt water sickness. <laughs> Did he he have some of that poison at that bar too? Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> Do you do you need to sit down or something? Uh, maybe I'll sit in the shade. You have been in the water for a very long time. I don't like being in the water. Do something. Reminds me of home. <laughs> right. Well, do any of you remember? Why you're here? <laughs> nope. We gotta find yes. Ber uh, Natalia. Natalia. Huh? Hey. Guys, taking notes and shit. Well done. <laughs> There's a struggle to read it, but I found the name of my notes. I've got all mine in Obsidian. Oh my fucking god! What a lifesaver of a program! It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, oh. Anyway, go on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you had a moment there, my, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, just, I'm just like my D and D characters being smarter than me. Uh, one D's uh, D and D sessions are now sponsored by Obsidian. By the way, uh... <laughs> no, for legal reasons they're not. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, know, sorry. Like next time I go to look for Gex YT and it's been taken down. <laughs> 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 uh, that's fine. Obsidian um, now runs this channel. Yes, yeah, just, just changes to Obsidian YT. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I'll ask, ask around the market stalls for uh, any of you guys know Natalia. She's a scientist, researcher type lady, I guess. Um, yeah, one of the, the one of the first stores that you pull up to, it's just like fresh fruit um, and like some, you know, baked things. It's usually like uh, things made from the fruit that they have. Um, there's a um, a halfling uh, woman who's who sat there um, with very very big glasses, um, and she looks up at you. And she's like, uh, "Natalia, oh yes, yeah, yeah She's um, she, she's quite busy recently, but I mean, she she's just up on um on the ridge. Uh, you got you got to go upstairs to the pavilion. Um, oh, okay. It's it's where like the um." The council houses and where all all the higher ups go, but she's just opposite that. Yeah. Oh well. She, she's thank not you. she's not been around very often because she's been doing a lot of field work. But you know, you could probably track her down. Well, thank you kindly. Uh, I'll buy a, a, a I'll buy fruit for everybody to stave off the scurvy from one day being at sea. <laughs> yeah, that that is recommended, sir. <laughs> have, yeah. have an orange. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, um, I'll give her, like, a to... silver for a few oranges or something. Yeah, it's, like, one silver, and she gives you, like, a basket full of fucking citrus fruits. Sweet. Hog is delicious. Cleanse his CC as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, she there's, like, a bunch of people around. She's, oh, was a kind of um, reference, yes. <laughs> she, she lives near that the council houses, so I think that's... Uh, either, the rich, either, either the rich part of town or the very poor part of town. So, uh, no, she, yeah, she's obviously at the council like house where the council meet. Um, oh, oh, not the council one. houses. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the gotcha, big. Gotcha. It's like it's like the big hall um, where they meet and do their they do their big important meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, sounds like we can't miss it. All right. Thank you kindly. No yeah. worries. Just just make sure you you know she might not be in, so you might have to ask around for a little bit. And all right, we we can do that. We can knock loudly as well. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. She's a little bit deaf from the explosions that she you know likes, but you know just <laughs> yeah. Oh, that comes. With just throw a lemon through her window. That will get her attention. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I shall. Thank mm. you. All right. See you later, young man. Good she day. goes back to it. She just bites into a fucking lemon, skin and all. <laughs> so, uh, okay. so, so, uh, absolute chat. Love it. Uh, okay. Oh, I'll head to yeah, it. there's loads of stools. Uh, you're walking <clears> past. There's like weaponry. There's like magical items. There's armor. Um, food. There's like a, a, a small caravan that has like a bunch of like small animals as well for sale. It's like a little pop up pet shop of like exotic creatures. Don't don't even think about selling about selling that gator. Who <laughs> me? This gator? No, wouldn't dream of it. Good. As you're walking past, Keith sort of flips <laughs> off all the animals in cages. <laughs> <laughs> he's had one day of freedom, and he's all giving. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm on top of a friend who's got horns, and <laughs> everyone likes me quite nicely. So, yeah. lovely good day. <laughs> I've been thrown dead, bloated rats for the last three weeks of my life, so. <laughs> I start uh, nodding to people who might be, who vaguely recognise me. <laughs> yeah, you get, a, you get a couple of, like, double takes, because um, you look rougher than you used to be, for sure. Um, <laughs> Not and... a bloomer. Is That's the, uh, <laughs> is that the effects of the absinthe that you had. <laughs> Yeah, people sort of look at you uh, and like double take every now and then, but not a lot of people are recognizing you. Um, the most you'll get is like people just like nodding back at you when you, you know, nod at them. Um, but yeah, you, you, you're sort of getting by quite easily. You're mostly getting weird looks because there's a small crocodile like giving finger guns to people. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're really embarrassing me, Keith. Oh, know. yeah, I know. I'm trying my very best. Uh, I thought you said you were in solidarity with my awkwardness in this place. And 
You know, you're just rotting everyone. In solidarity with the fact <laughs> that you got thrown out for being gay, you know. No, no, Keith, no. It's Is that not? Actually... No, oh, no, no. You kind my... of... I my thought... sexuality has nothing to do with it, though. Of course. No, sorry. I thought my, my radar went off a little bit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Oh. <laughs> well, um, yeah, no. Wait, I, I, wait. I, I... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I hear a Jeff, distant voice. Jeff, is there something you're not telling me? What? Are you, uh? <laughs> are you, are you, are you from around here? <laughs> People keep giving you funny looks. Uh, well, yes, I am actually. Beth, uh, I'm, I'm from somewhere just just up the road, actually. Oh, weird! Small world. Um, uh, place just down there. Uh, just uh, you, you go in the ocean and it, uh, down a little bit. Really? It, yeah. That's quite. That's, that is very close. I've, prob- I've probably passed your neighbourhood once or twice. I've pro- uh, passed, probably, yeah. How far down are we talking? Well, um, I, a, a lot, I, a, a day's travel at least. Real fucking deep, then. Yeah. If, if you, it's, it's a lot quicker if you just let go and just don't swim. Oh. Just yes, fall. I think I might have been near your neighborhood once or twice. Oh, really? Good, uh, good people, but a bit judgmental. Yes, yeah, a bit intense, a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, nice to talk to you. I'm just off to this market stall. <laughs> um, right, so the market stall that you're pulling up to, yeah, there's a lot of just like I'd say this is probably the one that has like the like trinkets in it. Um, it's like a little charity shop hall. There's a lot of different little things, lots of little trinkets. Um and there's a uh, goblin stood on the other side of it, um, with like slick back hair and like a little um, pencil moustache. Um, and he, he looks you up and down. He goes, "Hello." Oh, uh, just just browsing. Of course you are. You you wouldn't happen to know if Natalia's around. You haven't seen her recently. Oh, she's fucked off recently. Um, yes, she's, well, you know, on one of her (laughs) field trips. Um, apparently, things are being set on fire again. (laughs) Fucking crazy woman. Oh, dear. Sounds like you're going to have a bit of a side quest to do before she gets back. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, apparently things are being set on fire. (laughs) Yeah, that sounds like a bit of a new Yeah. But you know that's that's her whole deal, really. Um, so do you mean I don't she... know. I don't just call out like firemen or something. I mean, she's setting mm. she's setting the fires, or she's investigating. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. Just like the you know, like just she apparently fucking she's insane. So I wouldn't take her word for it. Apparently, things are just like the earth is just like setting on fire. But like well, it's that... the fucking Scorchlands, is it? So oh mm. well, um. That is quite interesting. I'm painfully, painfully familiar with that topic, and I could say that that would not be—that is not a good thing. Well, yeah, it's all—it's all you know, secluded over there, though, isn't it? It's not happening anywhere else. Well, yeah, but you don't want it to, trust me. Yeah, well, well she listen. She's just delusional. It's not really happening. There's just some fuck with a with a torch running around the fields. Actually, I think you might be wrong there. But do you remember? Where we first met, we found that burnt bush from just burnt from below the ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, another fucking pair of loonies, alright. Yeah, we found um, a burnt bush. It was, it yeah, was, of course it was pretty did. tight. Let me let me guess it was on the eternal land. <laughs> fucking losers. Alright. Uh, you're a bit of a skeptic, aren't you? 
Not sure. <laughs> Whatever you think. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keith, do you want anything? Any trinkets? From this little man? No. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, take that fucking <laughs> shit necklace. Excuse me. Yes. What did you say about my necklace? No, I said take that fucking shit necklace on my table. I want rid of it. I don't want it anymore. For free. Yeah, go on. Oh god. Right. <laughs> uh, I grabbed the necklace and then <clears throat> what is it? Uh, oh no, I don't. Think, I don't think I have. Can I investigate the necklace? Sure. Do you want to do? Um... What sort of investigation are you doing? Like, are you trying to figure out what it's made of? Or if it has any, like, underlying properties? Or, like, who made it? Or, like, what it's made out of? Uh, I'm basically trying to replace the fact that I don't have detect magic. <laughs> and I, I'm just looking... I just want to see if it's, like... <laughs> if, it, if it's a bit fucky, you know? You can, do, <laughs> you can do an arcana check to check how fucky it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll do, a, I'll do, do a an fucking arcana check. check. Uh, nine, so... Nah, not fucky at all. It's just a shit chunky necklace. All right, none the wiser. Okay, I, I kind of drape it around keys a bit. You know, like <clears throat> when, you, when you like turn, twist it, oh, it gets a bit smaller. Thank you. You're dressing me up. Fair enough. <laughs> to impress the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I didn't quite get that implication at the time, but I suppose I am. Thank you so, very much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just keep striving to the market. <laughs> Yeah, sure. You can absolutely carry on. Uh, there's a bunch of taverns um, and uh, places to eat as well nearby. Uh, you're walking past there's like a um, couple of stables as well where people keep their like animals for people who are you know traveling. There's a fishmonger as well. There's just a lot of stuff that you can be doing around town. Um, you walk past uh, the the this little blue house. Like here, this is like a little um, blacksmiths, and Ooh. someone's. It's like an open house blacksmiths, um, and then stood outside. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> my character. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I forgot the foundry was open, <laughs> so it was really there in the mind, and I was still on the pier. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> this pier is huge <laughs> yeah, so every, time, every time Owen's contributed for about the last 20 minutes he's just been shouting it down he's just like <laughs> the other side of the map. where'd you guys go <laughs> <laughs> what's this uh, very large building this very large one what's here yeah, left. Yeah. Um, it has a little plaque on the front that says um, meeting house Oh, hmm. not a council house. Not 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 council not a council house, house no. but is the doesn't look like any council or... house I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the ones in uh, you know London. <laughs> but that's ridiculous these days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, the meeting house. Um, you you peer inside, uh, and there's some very well dressed people in there. They definitely look like they're carrying around like a lot of important documents. Um, people are like walking around into meeting rooms. Uh, you know, greeting other people who are also like very well dressed. Um, it definitely seems like the the place that the councils hold their meetings that um, a couple of the store people mentioned. A council house. I see. This is truly the the epitome <laughs> of a council house. Ah, uh, angled the wrong neighborhood. Everything <laughs> is sort of internally. Everything is painted over with like one coat of white. It's <laughs> got <laughs> so some lovely uh, plastic cladding on the outside. Yeah, well, all the plug holes are painted over for some reason. Mm -hmm. so. Artex, it's got Artex, 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 Artex yeah. Out, so. yeah. There's definitely a. Uh, Arse world above the living room sofa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it feels like being home again. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little, there's like two kids outside having a knife fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in my neighborhood, the taxi driver watching them just through the side. 
It's one of the names we had. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're sort of milling around. Um, uh, and you've, yeah, this is the sort of area is that there, you can watch to. Is there a milliner here? A sorry? A milliner. A milliner? Milliner make hat. A millennial. Um, <laughs> What sure. <laughs> that can be. Hey guys. <laughs> where's, where's the milliners? You know what? I'll just have it right where you're stood. Right not where, where, oh. not where the fish are. <laughs> but... convenient. Because, oh. because, you've asked, wow. because you've asked. You've been looking around specifically for a milliner. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, you sort of like wander up past the shop. Uh, and you can see the front windows like full of hats and like displays and like hair pieces and stuff. Oh my god! Um, and there's someone stood like sat inside um, with a little pair of glasses on, and they're um, in the middle of like sewing um, some like <clears throat> fake flowers onto a hat. Oh! And like finishing off one of their pieces. Yeah, they just stood and sat, sat inside, and the doors open. Hello. Hello. You, I see you are making a, a hat there. He sort of looks around. This is a hat, a hat making <laughs> place. <laughs> oh. uh, a milliner, oh, if, if you would. Uh, it's like when it's going, ah, I see you're cutting a key. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, as you say, milliner make uh, hat. <laughs> I'm I'm very I'm a very observant. Uh... <laughs> he like puts he puts his head in. Can I have a minus six to any perception roll that she ever makes for the rest of the game? <laughs> wow, he puts, you're he making his, a hat. He puts his pins back in his teeth and he just goes clearly. <laughs> 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 Could I help you with anything? I wanted to purchase one of those fan hats that you were making, sir. You want me, Milliner, to make hats? Oh. <laughs> no way. Uh, <laughs> I'll take one of your finest hats. <laughs> me want one hat. <laughs> now. Yes, sir, Milliner, sir. Uh, what, what is your name, sorry, sir? Ah. Uh, my name's David. Uh, hello, David. The Miller. Hello. Uh, I, I, I would Redundant, much... but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Ransom just speaks in redundancies. I like this. Floor, <laughs> carry to floor, to be honest. Keep the crocodile. David the Milliner. Whatever yep. his name is. No, you got it. It's David. <laughs> yeah, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I would like a. I would like to purchase one of your fan words from you, sir. Which one? <laughs> uh, have you got anything? the shelves are fucking lined with hats? <laughs> just free to take to go to the fucking like till, and he just sort of like motions around with a hand. He's like, "Have you looked?" <laughs> so so I, I have to put my hat looking glasses on. Uh... <clears throat> Oh god, fucking hell. Yeah, can I buy a hat, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what hat do you want? I want a hat. Okay, uh, you're, you're in the hat. right place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I've met you today, sir. This <laughs> is a mad fan. Uh, I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, I, can't, I can't drag it over. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. It's a cow- it's cowboy hat and it's got like a little bison on it. That's a hat. Okay. Please, sure. take it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to call hat. Fuck. That was the most painful interaction. <laughs> um, he <laughs> you pull up a picture on your fucking Nokia and he's like, <laughs> "There we go." Oh, <laughs> got any heads like this? Well, I've I've got quite a few just standard um, cowboy hats. I, if I could, you know, em- embellish one specifically to look like that. That'd be mighty fine, sir. Mighty fine. Um, sure. Uh, I'll get on that. Uh, it's uh, if I'm, you know, embroidering it from the start, then it'll take a couple of days at least. 
to get done. done. I think we may be around for quite a while. Really? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look, if, if you finish the hat, if you finish the hat and I'm not around, then just tell someone else. That would be the plan. Well, fantastic. Glad, glad to have met your acquaintance. Uh, just kind of run off really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking book it out of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ransom that's... doesn't have very high charisma. Ah, Clearly. He's my, ah, my favourite thing that's happened in D&D so far. Brilliant. <laughs> We're going to be around it for quite some time. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Disappointed, really. <laughs> it's so tempting to just go up and buy the hat. <laughs> he's, like, he's already sat down and he's started like sewing it. <laughs> so, David. When did you become a millionaire? <laughs> he's, he's like, he like double takes when you say his name. Do I know you? No, I just overheard the conversation. Okay, okay, good. Um, no, I'm not a millionaire. I just make hats. <laughs> he didn't find that funny then. I just feel like a piece of my soul's been taken away from me from that conversation. Yeah, you should probably see a doctor about that. Yeah, me make hat. It just, <laughs> it really does come into a man when it's put down to such simple terms. <laughs> I spent so many years doing this craft and now it's just me make hat. <laughs> I mean, can, I just shout, can I shout from the distance? But they are mad fine hats, sir. Mad fine. He you are very good at make hat. <laughs> we consider, we consider he working as a hat hand. maker. He just has his head his, in his hands and he just puts all of his like hat making <laughs> tools down. He just puts his head in his hands on his desk. He's like, oh, it might be lunch break. I might have to close. Okay. Another fantastic day of Dude. ruining an NPC's life for no reason. <laughs> Would you like a hat, sir? <laughs> Uh, no, I can't really fit one with my horn. All that. We do have horn specific ones, and I can tailor any of them to fit horns. You're oh, kidding. That's no, there's you a, are. You there's are a lot of people. But thank you. <laughs> That's goddamn hard. Uh, I, I ask uh, David if he has like a musketeer hat. He just like. <laughs> you pull out your also Nokia. <laughs> He's like, "Do you have this?" <laughs> he just like points at the wall. Yes. Yeah, cool. All right, I, I'll I'll uh, buy one. It's got a very like just a, a huge peacock feather. <laughs> Hell yeah! Pin to the top. Uh, how much does he want for it? That one is two silver, sir. Okay, I, I'll buy it and put it on instantly. Okay, thank you for your business. <laughs> he just like. He's he he offers it to you and he's in like a hat box. He's like, "Do you want it boxed or?" Uh, no, sir. I shall wear it instantly. Put it on. I appreciate that. No worries. I feel like you could do with some trade after. And then I point at Ransom. That. <clears throat> Shockingly, I deal with <clears throat> things like that quite often. <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> and then I leave the shop. <laughs> As you look at him, you just see the bags under his eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I took, I, I, I slip him two extra silver as a tip and walk out. Thank you. So, I can only feel like that is pity, but I appreciate uh, you, it. You're correct. It is. <laughs> Thank it's, you. It's the best I could do. <laughs> well, thanks, David. No do you yeah. have hat which cover face? Sorry. <laughs> You have hat. <laughs> hat that cover face sounds so practical. Do you have hat which cover face? Do I am have hat which cover face? <laughs> yes. I might. Precisely. Yes. <laughs> I I am make oh. hat. <laughs> he puts his head back in his hands and you see a single <laughs> tear drops in his head. David, David, do you um have hats for small crocodile? <laughs> Why did you forget hat of me? <laughs> How about a cowboy hat? Could you, could you make a cowboy hat for Keith here? And I point and, and point at Keith. 
A up. And he's just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Like the fucking circus has rolled into. <laughs> could you use a? Precisely. Do you feel that you could make a hat for Keith here? I could am make hat. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you could am, if you could, if you could, if you could, if you could am make hat for Keith, that'd be great. <laughs> Say what you want, David, but we're good business. <laughs> um, oh, of course, yes. I'm me. Am I at your service? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we got him. <laughs> um, I'll I'll play him a uh, inspiring tune on my lute as he as he furiously he's makes just, all of our he's, hats. He's still making Ransom's hat. He's only just started this. He's just <laughs> sobbing, crying while he's sewing this bison under the hat. So I'll, uh, I'll 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 play an instrumental version of Last Request by Paolo Nutini. <laughs> It's, it's even better if you play it just on maracas, I feel. <laughs> yeah, so you stay here for the next eight hours watching him make a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I'm at your service. <laughs> Fucking. I, I'm honestly fine to just, to just wait around while we get everybody's hats. Yeah, you yeah. have you loom over this man <laughs> you've just met, <laughs> um, and uh, he, you know, he spends most of his he spends like a good three or four hours like sewing this fucking hand painted piece of leather of a bison onto this hat, which he then puts to one side, <laughs> and then he pulls out his like measuring tape and sl- sad, really sadly looks at Keith. <laughs> 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 bite him! Bite him! Keith, what me? Keith, bite him! No, <clears throat> he's making me a hat. I feel quite, feel quite excited. Oh. Is it? Did I have a little jester hat <laughs> 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 with like the two little jingly bells on the end? I'll, I'll lean over and just like Keith, don't take the piss. <laughs> no, I would really, I'd really like one. <laughs> Because then, if you know, if you put me on the ground, I can jingle jangle around so you won't lose me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we've abducted this crocodile. Hey, David, can you make that one happen, mate? Cheers, thanks. <clears throat> yes. David, David. <laughs> what? You, you, what? You, you, you are making me croc jester hat. <laughs> <laughs> David, did I see you put my hat to one side there? Yes, madam. Can I, I have that? It, yes, it will be ten silver, please. Ten silver. Oh, may I make you a wager for the hat? Oh my god! <laughs> this poor man. Just you know what? pay Just him fucking the take money. It. Just fucking take <laughs> no, it. I'll pay him. I'll pay him. He like fully like pushes his seat away from his desk and just leans his head on his knees, just like, oh, oh. I can't believe my life. Oh. Just pay That's the a... man ransom. Hey, look, I- I'll give you a full gold piece for this hat because uh, we bothered you so badly today. I'm very sorry about that, sir. Are you sorry? Uh, I- I- I'm as sorry as I can be, sir. I'm sorry as I can. I didn't realize asking you to do your job would upset you so, but uh, per- for... asking oh. me if me and make hats. <laughs> <laughs> asking a milliner to make a hat. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, thank you for the hat. How hat, unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right. Oh, 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 where did you get your hat from? Uh, I, I never thought about it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I also took this guy, took this guy a girl, and say I appreciate a well-made hat for your trouble. <laughs> there we go. I have been eyeing up your hat. It's quite nice. <clears throat> from the old country, the uh, scorched lands. I don't think the man that made it's still alive anymore. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> but, uh, oh, deep a outlaw. Ooh, 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 I know. Staring on, you on, with on, like on. with like tear drenched eyes, just like <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Not a sentimental feller, but it's a it's a fine hat. Serve me well. <laughs> Keeps the rain off my head. Oh, it is beautiful and well and well kept as well. 
<laughs> well, you gotta get that suede spray to you know to keep it waterproof. Oh yes. So they try. Yeah, they, your little suede brush. As they, well. try, they, they try to upsell you in Sports Direct, and you think it's bullshit, but it's a it's actually yeah, a good and then, idea. And then your first <laughs> hat, your first hat's been ruined, and then you get your second hat, and you think I might as well go for the suede spray, and then you go for it, and you think, oh, I was a knobhead for not getting this because they, they do they try to sell it like it's a scam. Yeah, you would you, you <laughs> would ab- you would know. I appreciate yeah. that. I, listen, I try and sell the suede spray, and people go, "No thanks," and they come back, and they're like, "My hat's fucked." So, well, I'll keep these guys towing the line with main, maintaining <laughs> these hats. <laughs> I must get back to making this miniature jester hat, sir. So good, to, good day to you, sir. <laughs> good day. And he goes back to sadly sewing this little jester hat. <laughs> Was there oh. another hat that you wanted? <laughs> he, he just looks outside of his door and sees everyone just sprinting around this tree. <laughs> yeah, Caster, what have you been up to in this fucking exchange? <laughs> uh, I've been, I've been sniffing. You've been sniffing. I'm sniffing. trying to get a scent. What are you getting a scent for? I don't know. I mean, sad, I'm trying to sniff out all the different woods. Um, I, kind of, I can smell the despair of a... Does that have a smell? I can smell the despair of a like a hat maker. In the Detect kind of, depression. It smells like, um, I don't know, like beans that have been left out too long. Yeah. It smells like um, sort of a, a, a damp leather. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he gets a tiny uh, just a hat done for Keith, who wears it, and he looks really happy with it. Like he's ecstatic that he's wearing a little just a hat. Um, How much do I owe him for the just a hat? Just, it's so small, like five copper. All right, I give him. I'll give him one silver. That's <clears throat> so kind of you. <laughs> and then uh, is that it for hats? Uh, please, <laughs> please say. Uh, I, I just, I'm like, thank you for your, thank you for your. Uh, uh, I'm hat mate. Um, would you like, uh, would you like a drink? And I offer him a shot of my mega absinthe. <clears throat> um, appreciate, but me, I'm sober. Ah, you am smart. <clears throat> Thank. <laughs> um, he does uh, present to you, Jeff. Um, a like it's. Sort of like a, a, a veil that can just be like put on top of a hat and just like added to a hat quite easily. Um, and it's like a full, like it, it will just like you attach it to the brim of a hat and it just covers the entire fucking way around. Um, he's like, Well, if you wanted to have something that covers your face, um, this would work. Uh, you can also modify any of our hats to have horn holes as well to fit your needs. This is bloody brilliant, David. Thank yes, you. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Just, just uh, any old trilby or fedora. Uh, just, just if you could pop some holes in it and mount mount this shroud of cheering onto it, that'd be wonderful. Of course. Um, yeah, he he size he sizes up the hat on your head and he like plots where the like horn holes are going to be and he you know he sets them all up and it fits lovely it goes right over the top of your horns it's wonderful um he's clearly done it a lot um and he like attaches the sort of like veil part way as well um and for a moment he's proud of his work and then he looks at all of you wearing stupid little hats and running <laughs> around and he goes mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i i give him one gold piece for his efforts and, and say You'll be a millionaire one day, David. He looks you deep in the eyes with like bloodshot eyes. He's like, "Thank you." (laughs) Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, And then (laughs) you won't see me again. And then put my hat on with no face. (laughs) Jesus. Right. Are we done with David? I don't know. Done with David. I'm definitely coming back to pester David at some point in this Good. story. Listen, okay. David, I've got another oh my ten God. to twelve more um, 
uh, hats that I need from you. <laughs> Ten to um, twelve. Uh, yeah, just small, so you can charge me less, like the like the um, alligator. Ten to twelve small hats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as well as, um, I should no, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. He's just like contemplating, um, like the scalpel he uses to cut leather in his hand. He's just like mm. <laughs> ten to twelve oh. small hats. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll I'll see that and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll leave you to your day. Sorry, David. Have have a good one. Stay, if you want, stay a... safe. All right. Yes. Thank okay. you. Here, if you need a chat. The second all of you leave, he closes the door after you and flips the sign to closed. <laughs> and you see him oh, going like that. he hasn't he hasn't pulled the curtains at all. He just goes and sits down with his head in his hands. Hey, look at that, guys! We've given him enough money for him to close early. Oh. <laughs> Aren't we good hey. people? He stop banging on his windows. Way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a like, millionaire you right? now. You're all right, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've <laughs> harassed the local milliner. <laughs> Man, we've paid him well for his service. Yeah, I feel like we've paid way above the odds there. Uh huh. Yeah, he am make good hat. <laughs> Me am at your service. <laughs> Right. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Outside of that. Oh man. Look, I've got a musketeer hat, I've got sequin trousers. I'm ready to fight. I'll do whatever we need to do. Bye! Who's fighting? I don't know anybody. I'm a musketeer. Everybody? <laughs> yeah, because he's got his hat on, he's ready to scrap uh, yeah. I've got a rapier and a hat and a, and a hat and some sequins. Who's this? Effectively a musketeer. I don't know. Who are you looking for currently? <laughs> Is this the the woman we're looking for? Natalia. I imagine so. I doubt the only person with a token on the map is the person we're looking for. That's yeah, stupid be, that would be really crazy. fucking crazy. Yeah, fucking yeah. Why is she on the roof uh, of that building? Buongiorno! <laughs> don't jump the Natalia! Don't jump the She heard us talking to <laughs> the milliner and she's going to jump me. No, she's inside of the building, um, but that's only... I can't fucking put her inside of an illustration, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but yeah, you're walking around and you see this uh, this house um, that is opposite the, the council meeting room. Um, and it does have uh, like a little plaque on the outside that says, uh, Professor Natalia's um, study and um, laboratory. Guys, I... I... I think this might be the place. I knock on the door. Uh, you hear a, a door, lot of right? bustling inside. Yeah, there's a, there is a door. You hear a lot of bustling inside. The door is made of wood, by the yeah. way. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is the sign made out of? Uh, the sign is a uh, plaque made out of darker wood. Yeah! Ooh. The um, letters on it carved in as engraved, tiles. Engraved, engraved into wood, yes. Engraved and painted. Uh, it seems like it was engraved with um, like f like a fire, so it was like burnt into the wood, and then right. tinted over with like a um, a, a wood stain. Mm. <laughs> Classic. Castor loves this door. <clears throat> Um, but you hear a lot of bustling inside, and you hear like a, oh, uh, w w one moment, um, and then you hear like f rapid footsteps coming over to the door, and she swings the door open. Her hair is a fucking mess. Her glasses are tilted to one side, and there's a crack in one of them. Uh, she's like rosy in her cheek. She's like a half elf. Um, she's like five four. Um, she's just like, she seems like she's just buzzing with energy as well. Buongiorno. Thing. Howdy, ma'am. <laughs> Can I help you all? Uh, 
We've been sent come by the... Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, oh, come in, come in. sit down, sit down. Oh, I've got tea on, um, if anyone wants any tea, I've got that, I've also got coffee, um, I've also got some alcohol, in case you're one of those day drinkers, <laughs> like yeah. me, um, so do come and sit down. <laughs> um, I've also got food on, so if you do want to eat, she's like hurrying everyone inside, she's like pushing you to sit down on sofas that are just like strewn with papers, and there's just like empty bottles of like uh, like potion bottles everywhere there's loads of like just s- sacks of uh, like fruit and vegetation and there's like machinery on the walls it fucking smells alchemical in here as well um and she like slams the door shut she runs over to her kitchen she doesn't ever walk you've noticed it's always like an 80s mum like doing a power walk <laughs> type speed oh yeah elbows up yep yeah elbows up um and she rushes around, and she you all end up with a cup of something in your hands. Um, and she sits down at her desk again, <clears throat> it's like, in a hurry, um, and in a huff. And she's like, so? Uh, we, we've been sent by the, the Soulsborns to, uh, to find you. Ooh. Really? You, you must have heard of that, that Hendry filler. Oh well, I've, I've of course I know Hendry. Well, I was there for his first anointment. Um, yeah, but we... you know, I've, I've heard he's had his third one recently. Uh, <laughs> it, it ascended to godhood. Oh, he was uh, in that halo. Of course, he uh, oh. he kind of stumbled on the way to ascension, uh, as it were. Oh really? <laughs> Only Denny God then? Oh, uh, no, he shame. He, honestly, he was such a he, handsome young man. I knew his mother actually. Uh, look, he fucking did. He, oh. he, yeah, he, he kind of melted from from the inside after drinking the the, the liquid. It was. He wanders over to you, Gabba, and squats in front of you, and she's like, "You are just infested, aren't you?" Yeah. I admire that. Thanks. I made it myself. What the fuck? Know. Sorry, I just I love studying all sorts of, um, you know, things. <laughs> Like diseases and like naturally occurring, like disgusting things. Right. Quite putrid. Well. So, Andre's dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, like super dead. <laughs> oh. Huh. Well. Oh. I thought he'd, you know, third ascension and all that. Um, you know, you send, become a god. Surely, if someone sneezed, sneezed halfway, you'd only be like a de- demigod. But you know, um, that exploded. You say? Well, he kind of melted. His organs kind of shreds. You say? Fell out. In... <laughs> <laughs> How is his wife taking it? Uh... Oh, shreds. You say? Uh, he yeah, he drank the drank the stuff, but the cup was corrupted. <gasps> but hello, I don't. See how that would be true. This is the same cup they've always used. It's always been quite, you know, uh, well kept in security wise. Well, might not. Might, well, I, I can't remember. Was it the same cup or was it a, a, a facsimile? Uh, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't the original cup. You figured yeah, out. Yeah, produce some. Whoever has the cup, uh, show the nice lady. Yeah, did we get the cup? I'm sure we did, right? We have, yeah, yeah we have uh, the cup. I've got the, cu- I've got the cup. I'll get the cup. I'll we get saw it. a fellow named Doctor Deceit. Uh, really nice fellow. Uh, don't, don't trust the name, but uh, he said it was uh, some kind of uh, necromantic death magic. Oh, yeah. well, do let me have a look. Weird um, shit. And she, she snatches the cup away from you very quickly and just walks away into her Oops. office. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Uh, and you hear just like fizzing and bubbling, a bit of clanging, <laughs> and you just hear, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I agree. Comes back out, um, looking like she's been electrocuted, and she's like, Def- <laughs> Woo, "Definitely necromancy." Oh, disgusting! <laughs> yeah, uh... I didn't taste it. <laughs> That's probably wise. Uh, there was also uh, the, some corruption on the uh, shit. What's the island called? Line. 
<laughs> the eternal land. The eter- yeah, the eternal yeah. There was some corruption in the eternal land. We found a bush that had become corrupted, and apparently that is odd and worrisome. Corrupted and, uh, in what way? Uh, it was like burnt ah. from, from under the ground. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Um, How strange. Yeah, they said. Well, uh, yeah, you go on. I. <laughs> it's quite strange, honestly. Um, I've been looking around things recently. Um, not to do with any of this. Uh huh. But there's been. Um, and are you aware of the Scorched Lands? Oh, I'm from there, milady. I was. Oh, well, I was born. I was born beforehand, but uh, yeah. Oh, uh, in the old land, yes. Yeah, and I, I, I left to go to chip. Uh, wait, did I leave Fine. to go to university? Uh, uh, I, I left. I left before. I'm, I'm looking at my sheet. I'm just gonna try to read my own gibberish. Uh, yeah, I left before they were scorched, but when I went back, it was a uh, kind of a shithole. Uh, that's how we met. Yeah, yeah. So I'm aware of the scorched lands. It ain't good. No, it isn't. Um, yeah. So it. There have been more fires spreading uh, from the lands, you know, just ed- as how the scorched lands just sort of erupted into flame one day with no, you know, rhyme or reason. Um, quite similarly, uh, it's happening nearby. Specifically, this particular region? Yeah. Or more widespread? Um, it's up over by... Um, like Abamorn and Avalon and Abahond, you know the the Abbas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's like a there's a there's quite a large section. It's quite strange because it's happening quite close to the depths. Um, so obviously they have quite a you know large um you know vat of water that they can just sort of throw at it, but it just doesn't stop. And it's happening from under the ground. Um, and it's driving me f- insane trying to figure out why. <laughs> See, it seems like this. We we found that fucky bush in the eternal mm-hmm. lands. That it seems like this could be related. I think so too. I think potentially. Um, there's, I mean, <laughs> there's plenty of stories about how the scorch lands came to be. Um, but you know, some uh, probably have some fact to them, but. You know, that I, there's there's quite a strong theory surrounding all of it about a um uh, a an, an elemental type of man. Um, some people say he was a jinn, uh, but others, you know, believe he was just like a fire elemental in general. Some people think it was just like a wildfire that gained sentience one day, which is strange. Huh. What's what? What's your belief? Well, I think it was someone far too powerful and smart for their own good um and they sort of fucked up one day and now they just sort of ran away and was like oh i don't want people knowing about this <laughs> um mm. i i do i do think <laughs> it is something to do with the elemental magics mm. so a jinn would be quite accurate but you know, they're it's few and far between of them. They're, they're mostly of legend. Um, it's mostly their descendants these days. Uh, you know, Janasi and um, elementals and people of the sort. Um, but no one would be that powerful to you know set a whole land on fire and have it never you know go out. Any. <clears throat> What did, who would? Who would know? Who would know about who started it? Yeah, or who who could have? Any, oh, you have any to suspects? Them. I mean, there's plenty of ways that people would, you know, try to connect with the elemental planes and jinn and, um, you know, all sorts of creatures beyond our knowledge. Mm-hmm. Um, some people actually... Um, who were who were born of that blood? They can they can speak uh, some primordial languages, uh, and they can understand you know things. So we've gotten some 
information from some of the fire elementals um, up in the, the scorch lands that sort of birth from the ground. Um, but, you know, not a lot of coherent thoughts because they're mostly just little animals made out of flames. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't go animals. Uh, she leans over. Strong. She, like, sits down right next to you and leans in far too close. You know something that I don't, yes. and I want to know what it is. I don't know who started the fire, but I, I know about elementals. Well, here you go, sir. Here's your man right here. Rian. Hello, sir. Are you a Ganassi? Uh, I'm a Githyanki, sir. Oh, shit, sorry. Okay. I wasn't sure. I'm from a completely Ganassi. different plane of existence. I knew it was I'd, some, I'd, some, Jim is, though. Uh, but Jim is a, a water yeah. genetic. Right. Um, uh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Listen, listen, I'm a <laughs> Triton, all right? It's different. <laughs> First of all. Legally distinct. I'm legally distinct. Triton, underwater. So I, I didn't on mean the... to offend you, sir. I'm, it's I'm it's a so common very mistake. <laughs> water, water Genazi look very like fish, so it, it, it works fine. I'm not offended. We do look the same. Um, <laughs> but also, that is racist. And you shouldn't say oh. it. Oh, I, I'll um, make sure not to say it again, sir. I'm very so for I'm fucking you. with you. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for Granton was about to get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling up my Twitter.com. <laughs> <laughs> On my Nokia device. <laughs> I'm using my most recent Nokia device to pull up Twitter.com. Specifically, Twit Longer. And I'm writing a call out post. <laughs> Ransom is a bitch ass motherfucker. In this essay, I will outline. <laughs> I'll be using uh, deal paragraphs to talk about why oh you're Lord. such a bitch. <laughs> would I? Would I know of any? Would I know of anyone who would set fire to things? Roll a history check for me. Such a manner. Let's do that. Yeah. Where's age in the alphabet? Let's go. Normal. Bam. Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, there have been stories of um, it, it was often used as like an insult towards Fire Genasi, um, to call them uh, a son of Inarum, um. So Inarum was a very violent... He's very, very old history at this point. Um, he's a tale that people bring up when they talk about people going hungry for power. It's very much like a, a King Midas story, um, where he was technically real, but he's been like long dead and he's just sort of turned into a legend. Um, he was an uh, Afriti um, who gained powers like bef beyond what they were often capable of um and he started experimenting on like people and plants and like living things to see how far he could push it um and people often say that was the beginning of the fire genasi race um and when people are acting like dickheads they usually called him a son of uh, Inarum because he was a horrible, horrible person. Um, but that's the only thing that you could possibly think of. Um, but he's long dead. Mm. Interesting. So, 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 tell me more about this this fire, yeah? Well, it's hot, right? And it's everywhere. Um, it just keeps popping up, just out of the ground. Like uh, I'll be, I'll be stood in one spot for a bit too long. I start feeling it get hot under my feet, and then before I know it, I look down. The grass is dead, um, and then like it starts like embering and fizzing, and then there's suddenly fire. Um, like where... there's something. Sorry. Where? Where you? Are, where you are? It occurs. 
Well, not specifically where I am, because I was I was in I was in the field, obviously, right. and it where it's been occurring. Um, and while I was studying one point, like a next point would start going up in flames. Um, uh, right. More so, like, so more it's like not because anyone else experienced this. Yeah, as it's, well. it's it's not like targeted or anything. It's just, no, no, oh, of course okay. not. It would oh, it would happen okay. in multiple places, but like you know, just as an example, I would like feel it get hot under my feet for no apparent reason. Um, gotcha. So I like, step back and watch it happen, and you know, not just me. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. I hope gotcha. not just me. That would suck. Mm. Mm. Yes, I've I've been over, you know, between um the you know, the cities of Abermore, Navahond and Avalon. Mm. This is like a triangulate there. Um where it's been popping up a little bit. Um I've heard it's been going on um in a, a few places. Um but this is the one that I've been studying at least. Mm, mm, mm. Would you say that that would be a, a good place for us to continue our investigation? If you want to look at the fires specifically, of course. But there's, you know, if you wanted to go and look into more of the necromancy side of things, I do have a link, potentially, that you might be interested in. Okay. Have you been to the western side? Of the island, very much, sort of just below the the stilts. Um... The well, island. Well, you're from around here, aren't you? Goff is AFK. Oh my god. The stilts. <laughs> Do you mean is that the yeah. uh, the northwest? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Yeah, so it's it's. Where I'm talking about is the western reach, but it's just below the stilts, so it's sort of, yeah, in that direction. It's Goff um, from there? It's from around here. Goff is from here, like where you currently are. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's not near where we are. Sorry, I thought you meant west of no. where we are. No, it's over in the west. Right, right, like right, right over in the west-west. Right, right, west-west. Right, 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 right. uh, wait, what did I say? Uh... I'm like... Desperately trawling through the map. <laughs> Far over on the west, there's like a big, um, like triangle of lines in like the northwest. Yeah. That's stilts. Um, and then just below that, there's like a little cluster of islands. I mean, I'm from the north, and I worked as a mercenary for years, so it's you would potentially I would have maybe visited or known about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there's um, a small island just off the coast called uh, Stakuna. Um, <clears throat> there's... There's, there's a lot of rumours around it, but there is a um, an old an old an old tower that was used there by a mage, and a lot of people often said that it was um, for necromancy because it was so separated from the islands. Um, of course, he was an outsider and a loner, so it might have just been rumour, but that's the only thing I can truly think of that you could maybe go and have a look at. Um, mm. uh, it's quite far from here, though. I do have a friend who uh, lives in Inverden, um, who actually has a teleportation circle that goes near there. Oh, shit. If... But he's it's not currently around, so I'd have to get in contact with him, so... Uh, if you're willing to wait, of course, I can, um, you know, get in contact with him and, and get that all set up for you. Absolutely. Probably faster than getting there any other way. Well, since we're in the region, uh, I s uh, what, what say we investigate these fires briefly and then while that, while that all gets arranged? Yeah, I... Like fire. Uh. We can have a little look um, see, see if we can Sounds a bit hot to me. <laughs> oh, it's quite hot. <laughs> but I mean, um, it, I had to, you know, engineer uh, a little a water cooling neck pillow. It's quite nice. <laughs> water cooling. Yes, it's like a little neck pillow, but it gets pumped full of water, but I have a little spell that goes around it that sort of keeps it cold all the time. That is wonderful for the field work when it's just sweltering. 
how much? <laughs> how much for it? No, it's mine. Could you maybe uh, fabricate them that would fit in cowboy hats? <laughs> what I a water called uh, cowboy hat? <laughs> hell yeah. Do you want RGB lights as well? Uh, 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 I want to play Red Dead 2 at 200 frames a second. Oh, you're definitely going to need water cooling. Well, like I could, I could give you some form of it potentially. And I, 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 it was pure luck that I came across it. Um, possibly an accident. I do feel like if the neck pillow ever bursts, there might be a small nuclear reaction. Um, it's quite contained. <laughs> that, that, uh, um, maybe not them. Um, I'm quite keen on this whole living thing. I could give you just a cold glass of water. Yeah, that would can... be lovely, thank you. <laughs> find, find some ice. He snatches your tea away from your hand and gives you a ice cold water in fucking <sighs> seconds. <laughs> She's so fast, it's unbelievable. I drink it just as quick. My goodness, thirsty boy. Oh, you know it. Oh. Uh, um, um, <laughs> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> I'm moving away back to my desk. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm going to go ask this man about a hat. So uh, I've got to go. Oh, David. Man about <laughs> Wait, b- before you go, mm-hmm. i got two questions. Of course. Have you ever heard Nubia? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's Excalibur. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Uh, anyway, sorry. Have I ever had a helicopter on Sorry, I looked, I looked over at your small crocodile friend and he has a knife in his head. It's incredible. <laughs> he probably Keith, did. where on earth does that come from? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your head? Uh, I think someone fought me for it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's one of the that's one of the hats I had made for him. It, it's yeah. not oh, a real right. knife, you oh, see. It's Lord. just it's just sticking out of this. No, this one is a real band. knife. Someone actually oh. fought me for my little jester hat and I think Oh my lord, Keith, are you okay? <laughs> uh, I can see in three places at once. <laughs> do, do you want me to pull that out of your head though? Please don't. I think it would make oh. it worse. Oh maybe well, yeah, we'll leave that in. <laughs> All right, it's just part of me now. Oh, fantastic. Call me Cleef. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Cleef. Me, I'm named Cleef. (laughs) Um, Have I ever heard of what? (laughs) Small, dirty man. Uh, Or have you ever heard of the Phoenix ritual? Of course I have, yes. (laughs) Right, okay, well... What's the good sign? Mm. It's uh, succeeded, shall we say? Well, or I... not succeeded, or yeah, you know, just like I've heard of it in stories and in passing. I've never heard of you know someone who might have survived it. Um, I suppose a good sign of something uh, like that coming, you know, to an end is. The lack of the first body, um, and then the presence of the soul in a new body, quite nearby. Right, but what if you were to say stumble upon this site? Of course, uh, I'm a number of, uh, Yeah, well, of course, you know. <laughs> uh, smile. And yeah, it'd been a while, <laughs> you'd imagine. It wasn't fresh, you'd assume. Uh, and you weren't quite sure what had happened there. Mm-hmm. You, you were told by... Mm, shall we say a suspicious individual? Your head failed. Of course. Uh, what, what, you know, <laughs> how am I supposed to trust the geezer? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How, so, are you asking me about the Phoenix ritual or how to trust somebody? Well, in, in particular, regards <laughs> to there's, the Phoenix there's, ritual. There's one that I can answer, and there's one that you might need to seek therapy for. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That's a good point. Uh, you have a deep-seated well, mistrust for other people around you. Absolutely, but it's, it's not really, like, you know, unfounded, shall we say. Okay, of course. Uh, anyway. These thoughts can seem quite rational at the time, Gabba. It's, it's all right, Gabba. <laughs> we, we're all friends here. We can, we can work through it, all right? 
you lot were all gaslighting me like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Fuck all of you. <laughs> right. Gaslight, we've never gaslighted you. Listen. <laughs> oh, you you acting crazy. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Keith looks at you and he's just like, you don't even know what gaslighting means. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, I swear to God, you only have two daggers in that head suit. <laughs> Listen, um, maybe it'll make me right again. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> right, some, that's me that engraving thing you use. Speaking of Keith. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Keith. Yes. You know how we're just talking about this Phoenix ritual? Yes. Where, you know, there's a body, presumably a human body. Uh huh. And then. You know, from the ashes, the right. spirit rises in a new body. Okay. Is there any chance you're the subject of that Phoenix ritual? I'm not following. So You, you seem like you're not really making much sense. I, I don't know. He goes to look what? at you and one eye moves before the other one does. What? <laughs> What if there was an accident with the ritual and uh, instead of turning up in another human body, it turned out you actually were resurrected in the body of an alligator? So, are we, are we positing that Keith is Hendry? Uh, no, no, not Hendry. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> no, no. I think we're saying Keith's had a workplace accident and we're asking for compensation potentially. <laughs> it was actually given the wrong kind of ladder. You are <laughs> <the lawyers. laughs> Have you been this old PBI? <laughs> Do you have a Volkswagen between 2010 and 2016? <laughs> Do you be like Keith? <laughs> are you like Cleese? Do you have a dagger in your head? Cleese has a thirst for lawyers. Do you? <laughs> Is there a small claims court around here? <laughs> there is a small cleath court. Oi. Oi. <laughs> uh, he, he jumps off your shoulder and plops onto the ground. There's like a little slap when his belly hits the ground. And he just starts. <laughs> he waddles over to the sofa and he sits down uh, and puts his, his little hand to his chin in the thinking position. Well, I'm not entirely sure because I was told after the fact that I'd come back as a as a crocodile. I you know, I was making I was getting my bearings. Um and I I, I looked up at the people who were who were around me and they said, You are you you've been turned into this beast for your crimes. Um so it it doesn't feel like it was a mess up. It feels like they just sort of did that because they were sociopaths. Um it's kind of what they would say, though, isn't it? It's a con- bit of a convenient excuse. Just a hypothesis, though, Keith. Nothing to really what. Well, Nothing to worry I'm... your sweet little crocodile head about. Well, there's something else worrying my head right now. Um, <laughs> that's bladed. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't see what else would have happened otherwise. Well... It's just Cause... my theory that uh, you know you've you... forgotten a few things. Do you think I was been... just like dead, and they were bringing me back into a new human body, and then they just sort of lied to me about it? Yeah, so uh, I'm just curious, just wondering that maybe they were trying something out and had a little mishap. Oh, yeah, uh, that's what they told you. Hmm. Things you can't really remember very much. Well, I think wasn't there some kind of like, uh. Respawn token mentioned as well. Yes, there was a respawn token. Did right, we find we any it, right? tokens of the respawn over. variety? Well, no, we didn't. That's why I was asking. I was going to see, you know, would we, but like, how does it work? Because, like, if Keith's got a respawn token somewhere, we can just kill him. Uh, Please don't do that. <laughs> we found that uh, 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 melted silver. So that's we did find that. Cool. Yes, well, I suppose we'll find out more at some point, but that was just a little curious thought I had. 
Leith oh, is looking right. down at his little crocodile hands. <laughs> I've got a lot to think about once this dagger is out of my thinker. <laughs> we should probably fix that, shouldn't we? If you could, that would be really nice. I quite like him this way, actually. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm seeing some sort of light approaching. Uh, yeah, but no. you, don't, you don't understand. Yeah. You look really cool, though. Do I? <laughs> yeah, look really cool. He blinks one eye at a time again. Wow. <laughs> I've never felt more handsome. <laughs> You're going to make a great handbag, all right? Okay. <laughs> and he's, he's like, he rolls backwards onto the sofa. <laughs> oh, God. Can I pull the knife out of his head and then cast Cure Wounds on him, please? Sure. I don't can. want Keith to die. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> I mean, I just shared a, 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 a meme. Why did it instantly become canon? He had a knife in his fucking head. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> okay. No, he's he's fine now. You pull the knife out, you oh, cast cure no. wounds. You're holding him like a little baby in your arms. <laughs> oh, he recovers. Per- personally, Ransom, I find it much funnier to, or much better to live with Keith's death when you realise he's a 55 year old man. That you're holding in your arms right now. Just he look reaches, down. He reaches a little paw up. He's like, to... I'm young at heart. <laughs> we see a big bald man. Look, Piff, even 65 year old men need love now. And uh, our 65 year old nah. man happens to be a little crocodile fella. So uh, I'm inclined no, think, to look after him. Th- Listen, where I'm from, you get to about 25 and then you give up. Oh, is that how old are you now, Piff? Uh, twenty-six. Oh, right. I see. Well, that explains your general disposition. Uh, oh, I'm sorry damn. about that. <laughs> <laughs> Boone, still got it in me. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> oh man. Perth, you're not from you're not from the East Midlands. You've got plenty to live for. <laughs> Jesus. I'm from I'm from the deep west like these two. You've never stepped foot in Bradford, so uh Bradford. Life's still good. I stepped in the furs, not in the Brad though. <laughs> anyway, uh well, anyway, my second question. Yes. The first one went swimmingly. <laughs> uh, you said you love disgusting things. I do. Are you single? Nah, joking. Uh, what is the most disgusting <laughs> thing you've got you can give me right now? Oh, well, um, I do have, um, like, a, it, it was, um, it looked quite unassuming at first. It was a bit of slime I found. <laughs> Um, right. just off the coast. Um, but right. then, if you if you poke it, the slime sort of reacts. Um, and it's just the most putrid thing I've ever smelt in my life. It's almost slightly worse than you. Um, right. Um, yeah, it's it it sort of reacts when you poke it. Um, it you know it's it it. I've had to double bag it a few times because it's got this caustic reaction um, that just boils anything that it touches. Um, anything? Almost, yes. Have you tried a gabba? I have yeah. not. Right, I'll take it. Okay, done. <laughs> she fucking goes to her back room, comes back with this little, like, fucking, like, bag that is... It's got, like, a little burn patch on the bottom of it. Where you can see it's like making contact with this like slime that she's found, um, and she just sort of hands it over to you. Don't see what could go wrong here. Yeah, you said it. Uh, I guess I'll dunk my hand in it straight away. Cool. It's um, roll a one d hundred. Oh. Uh, 14. <laughs> nice and low. Mm-hmm. 14. Um, it stings your fingers uh, as you touch it, um, and you can feel 
uh, it sort of like creep up into your veins, up into your arm. Um, and for a moment, you hear a little voice in your ear go, Oh, lovely! <laughs> in your body! Mm. And it fades back into your, your bloodstream. Um, and you feel like there's something sort of hitching a ride in your body right now. Add another disease onto that fucking tally mark, baby. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's something definitely hitching a ride. Who knows? Uh, Gabba just stands there not blinking for, like, say, a solid minute and then just moves on with his life immediately. That looks like, like nothing happened. Well. Incredible. Just, just oh, while the parasite settles. Jeez, for that, love. Mm. Of course. Does anyone else want to ingest a mystery liquid? Uh, I would recommend it. No, thank you. You would or you wouldn't? I would. I mean, then honestly, I've been dying for a drink since you gave me the last one, so I may as well. Just hands you a big bottle of water with ice in it. Is that not what you, you got? Think that. I think oh, you just need that. I don't think oh. you need any mystery liquid. Kester, right. I said that I would. Yes, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I thought you loved wood. I, I don't have to respond to that. <laughs> Does that seem like Alright. <laughs> Caster isn't smart enough to get that joke. Right. Well, is there anything else I can help any of you with? While you're here? Uh, um, I'm of the belief that's about all the questions we had. Sure. But I don't really know. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> I shall get in contact with my friend um, to set up that teleportation circle for you. It might be a few days. <laughs> Do be aware. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, yes, of course, if you if you need anything else, um, if you're going to investigate the you know the fires that are popping up if you need anything else from that just you know let me know um otherwise i can get you sorted out to uh head off over there hmm. i'd even join you <gasps> i do need some more Ooh. i do need some more um you know research over in those parts well you're more than welcome to uh join our little party uh, I, I still think it'd be good to to have a little look see at those uh, the burning shit before we get the teleport yes. on the job. Oh, absolutely! Yes, of course. That is what I would like to research quite a little bit more. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, yeah, but well, if you know, settle for the day. You've only just arrived. Um, but you know, just come and grab me when you want to go. Cool. We shall make an event of it. Yep. Wonderful. Bueno. <laughs> Most of them, eh? Wait, I got a third question. I got a third question. Yeah. Oh, another one. Yeah. Now, are there any good marriage counsellors on the island? Marriage counsellors? Yeah. Well, there's, you know, the old ladies that run the bakery. They've got a lot it's of wisdom from their years. It's not necessary. Oh, come on. Man. There's a lovely yeah. lady. She's there's a lovely lady who knows a lot about marriages and you know them going wrong. Um, if you want specifically a marriage counselor, I don't think we have one locally, but there's a few therapists that might dabble in sort of relationships and things. The camera's gone. He's chasing Owen. <clears throat> Why don't you love me? Come on, Owen, you slag. We're not married. Bards don't do that. We need help. No, I'm not into sick play. Well, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Why are you chasing me? What? What? We just need help, that's all. I think our relationship is broken down. <laughs> Wonderful. You chase each other through the streets, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, you um, can leave the office unless you have anything else pressing that you want to ask her. Um, but you, yeah, you have a, like a, a day or so before she's ready to head off towards uh, these like burning fields. Um, 
they're not too far away. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a trek, but she seems like she's done this journey many, many times, and she knows all the shortcuts, and she knows her way there. Um, so it shouldn't take too long when you do choose to. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you want to do, if you want to do any shopping, um, if you want to have any more conversations, or um, yeah, if there's anything you want to do. Can I change her sign just by, like, with mud? So that it says PP Sawn Ta Tud and Labra. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spell that out for me in the Discord <laughs> chat, you bastards. Jim, how long did that take to figure out? Uh, a while, but <laughs> longer than I'm willing to admit, but I, th- there wasn't an opportunity to do it. Either, I am so. fucking blown away. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that shit typed. <laughs> uh, keep talking amongst yourselves, it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, yeah. we need help. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Right. So I'm so interested to see where this is going. <laughs> PP Saunta. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Hud and Labyrinth. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm sorry. Where does the second P come from? Is that up there down B? You just, no, it, it's, it's an alter DR. Yeah. <laughs> PP Sonta doesn't love it. Right. Sure. You know what, mate? I have inspiration for that one. Yeah. Get <laughs> a little bit of inspo for that one, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> That's wonderful. I like that a lot. So you leave the PP Sauntal Todd and Lab Rat um, and get on with the rest of your day. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's my contribution this episode. Having made an enemy of every NPC we've met here so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so any, um, I'm, I'm, I feel like uh, you might be getting near the end of this session unless there's anything you want to clear up or anything you want to do as like last uh, things before next session where you go on that little adventure. Um, I think I'm, I think uh, I'm on sword. He's got sequin trousers and got hat. You, you all got fucking cowboy hats now. So yeah, everyone's uh, the fucking must, cowboy squad. Must, yeah. must hat, oh, ooh, ooh, spicy. my hat melts. Oh, he's different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't have a cowboy hat. I'm not. I'm not cowboy enough. You would wear a cowboy hat in the way a stripper does. Correct. Hey, you're a bard, right? So you, you'll have shitloads of charisma. It means you can pull it off. Well, that's why I went for the big peacock feather. <clears throat> yep, yep. Uh, like, Gabba will absolutely go and speak to his old ladies at the fucking bakery, okay. by the way. Yeah, you, you have a relationship proper advice. Oh, yeah. They sit you down with a cup of tea. They have a I love the way that Gabba's gone to couples therapy alone. <laughs> you get a lot of like worth more than you bitch. Fuck you. You get a lot of the classic like drunk girl in a bathroom, like, oh no, babes, he, he doesn't deserve you. Yeah, no, babe. Precisely. You're beautiful. You are gorgeous. <laughs> you absolutely can do better than him. Sounds like he's treating you so badly. He doesn't even deserve you. <laughs> no, just he wouldn't even throw up on me. He threw up off the ship instead. I Shame. can't believe that. That is honestly disgusting that he wouldn't do that for you. I know, right? Uh, yes. You have a really good heart to heart with these old ladies uh, for like a good few hours. Um, <laughs> you come out of it with a new, um, like, knitted jumper <laughs> that they just gave you. And a new sense um, of self worth, too. Fuck yeah, you, exactly. Owen. <laughs> you, you feel like a sense of, like, independence and, like, I don't, I don't need a man to, you know, complete me. <laughs> I'm complete the way I am. Yeah. 
and then you go and throw up on yourself for a while and <laughs> it all feels worth it. Oh, self pleasure. Yeah, got it. Nice. Right. Wait, Wait, hold on. Gavin. Moving on. <laughs> Gavin, hold on, mate. Don't want to know about oh. you pleasuring yourself. G- Gavin. Yes. I changed it so it says PP so tall instead of PP saunta. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate right. that a lot, actually, Piff. Yeah, right. It's, it's, okay, you cool. PP, so dull. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that, actually. No, no worries. That's I'm... really cheered me up, actually. Thank you. Also, are you gay? Uh, you... I could be. Are you single? Oh. Yeah, but you, you're not my type. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so fucking riz on this man, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gay? I could be. Are you single? No. Yeah, he's gone to the therapy once. And he's just he's like, yeah, you'll do. It's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult. Each Christmas, where I, though. It's difficult where I grew up because there's not really. Like, like you just kind of do it no into the ocean. Right. No, you just do it into the ocean and then it lands on some eggs. Like, it's hard to find good people. Pretty sexual nation. Very impersonal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right, right. So as you're like some eggs is what you're saying. Got it. If if you want, but I'm past my prime anyway, so I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I'm getting very mixed messages here. I, I mean, yeah. that we... And then I just... We walk separate ways, I guess. <laughs> you, hear an old, you hear an old lady just shout... Don't let him mess you about, Queen. Know what you want. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, fuck you, actually, Piff. Yeah, that's understandable. I hear that a lot. Right. All right, that's two out of, uh, like, six party members down. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> I want people to become the party's bike. I haven't got Gabba down. He's, been there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's currently wrapped around a tree. He's been so unsuccessful in that regard. <laughs> that is for sure. Right. Is anyone done. else doing anything else? Caster, have you been doing anything apart from looking at your Rubik's Cube? Um... I don't think so. Really? Cool. So there's not, I mean, unless there's like something, some kind of rare, different, strange mm. wood I've not seen before in this town. Um, there's nothing especially rare. Uh, there's a lot of like normal foliage, a lot of normal trees. Um, can I take a bit of this tree? Yeah, you sure can. You can, you can chip a bit of the bark off, or you can just take like a branch with you, if you fancy. Yes. Why is, is this specific tree? Does it have any uh, cultural or religious significance to the town? Uh, there's a <laughs> memorial plaque on it. Ooh. What does it say? It just says, um, here lies um, Biff McKicken. Biff McKicken. Town's oldest man was. <laughs> That's it. Town's oldest man was. Oh my god. Did the milliner write the sign? The milliner cries every time he walks past. Fucking hat maker. He's a hat maker, not a word maker. All right. Yeah, it's a memorial plaque for Biff McKicken. What a guy. Take a selfie with it and move with my Nokia phone. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> take a branch from this tree. Yeah, Kester, yeah. Kester. Wait, no, never mind. Ransom. Oh, uh, boy, howdy. Can you engrave a bucket next to that McKicken's name? Can I do what? Oh, like kicking the bucket. I see the yeah. humor in that. So, <laughs> you um... can engrave a little bucket on it. It'd be quite funny. <laughs> I think that would be disrespectful to both uh, McKicken's memory and this tree uh, that uh, this little fella seems to be carving up anyway. So uh, that is very the true. Uh, well, that's why I think you should do it. You know what? Sure, I- I- I'll crudely put a bucket on this tree if that. Yeah, not- I would so like. I would like to, to me, my- please nope. gather. I would uh, like to stay between, place myself between <clears throat> the tree. E- 
Are you going to eat that? in the woodcraft for this. So, did you see the the things I whittled earlier, sir? I, I think I am very tuned to woodcraft. So, prove it. Prove it. I did a lot of whittling, bitch. Okay, I pull out my <laughs> fucking dice that I whittled. Oh yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> You I see, did my whittling, these... bitch. Uh, I didn't see that. Like, I was doing my fucking. You see these absolutely beautiful cube. dice. Look, Wait, guys, guys. I think I know who can say. Dice made of wood, right? The dice made of wood. Hey, made of get wood. your fucking okay, grubby made... little mittens <laughs> off yeah, I'm of I'm my enamored. fucking dice. I'm an abbot. I mean, I'm all shook. <laughs> it's some oh, of the right most on. beautiful woodcraft you've ever seen in your life. Oh. Mamma mia. <laughs> I I just bow down and just stay silent now. Well, fantastic. Maybe one day I could uh, teach you how to whittle, uh, whittle like I do. See, si, see. Si. Oh, well, fantastic. That can be a a nice little character arc there, I guess. <laughs> the whittling arc. The wh- the whittling <laughs> the whittling arc. Um, we're gl- we're over the hat arc, so yeah. we've got to go into the whittling arc now. I feel like whittling fits very well into ransom being the uh, you know. Western country folk, yeah, and also being an artificer and like being making an artificer, things. yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm happy that I've started to whittle. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep rolling well and not just make absolute shit. And that's the only time oh. you're ever gonna roll well on that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. As it I should. Have be. A, I do have a plus five to a slight of hand wink, wink, wink. I thought you were going to say you were a plus five to whittling then. So <laughs> well, you know, the whittling skill that they introduced in the last <laughs> expansion. I thought it got weird when they put, like, knitting in there as well. Like, lo- but, like, looming rather than... Yeah, that. like it was Very specifically strange. looming. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, is Jeff doing any last bits of uh, uh, book research, or...? <sighs> Uh, no, nothing really. Cool. He's uh, he's obsessed now with this line of the the Phoenix ritual, and and Keith, and keeps looking at him, just side eyeing him every now and again, yeah. hoping Keith doesn't notice. You at one point you side eye him for a second time, and he's like placed his face right next to yours, that he just makes eye contact with you. The second you look over, he's like, "What are you looking at?" Oh, nothing, Keith. Nothing. You're admiring nothing. me. You are lovely, Keith. You like my my um my knife wound, my forehead. Uh, yes, it makes you look very distinguished. Ah, oh, uh, nice. Am I gonna have a cool scar? You'll have a very badass scar, Keith. Fuck yes. yes. Now you've been eyeing me up all all afternoon. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing particular, Keith, just, you know, I was just worried about your scar is all. Oh, well, it's healing up quite well after Ransom, um, you know, sort of did some magic on it. <clears throat> You're welcome for that, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I do appreciate it. I can see in colour again now. <laughs> oh, well, that's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Could could you see it in colour before as a crocodile? That's quite curious. Can I you still play the piano? <laughs> Can I still play the piano? <laughs> Did I know how to play the piano? <laughs> Someone find me a piano. <laughs> Caster, can you... <laughs> Caster? Caster, can you whittle a piano? Jeff, you've turned I, something. Why, why is he the whittler now? What I the can, fuck? Hang on, I can try and use the surrounding wood to make a piano. <laughs> so oh, you, you have like a mess of like, whittler it go. <laughs> and you ask this little fucking beaver to do some whittling? What the fuck? That's <laughs> racial I know profiling. I have you seen his dexterity with the cube? He could oh. be... <laughs> I do not whistle, I craft. <laughs> Oh then. right! Oh, so your craft is better than mine just because you have fancy words for it. See, from my parts, we whittle and we whittle happily. <laughs> you see, David slowly close the shutters on the. <laughs> 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 
And Guys, I think we need a, a wood work. Uh, I don't need these fancy five dollar woods. Uh, what wooden uh, craft? <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking away. All right. <laughs> Leave it in a fucking house. <laughs> I guess you won, Kester. Good job. Did somebody <laughs> on the piano. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to use the surrounding wood to make a piano. What surrounding wood? The trees. The tree. I'll dart. I'll dart around the trees. <sighs> take some branches. Take some wood. You could. <laughs> There's I, trees I, around I... town. Right. So. Some good. barrels and boxes around. There's loads of wood. Uh huh. Cool. Right. You know, like in the Lego movie where like they get master builder mode. It's like that. Oh, That's yeah. how my brain works yeah. with wood. There's <laughs> <laughs> some chairs at this restaurant up here as well, Will. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Um Ding. Fuck. Okay. Roll roll a D twenty and add your proficiency, I guess. Oh fuck, what's my prof uh, Your proficiency what... bonus will be a plus two or plus something. Okay. Good. <laughs> Uh, a d20. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Uh, how does one use things? Click the dice board. Yeah, I'm aware. But I'm also, <laughs> I mean, I'm also an idiot. You right. silly bastard. My proficiency bonus is plus two. So I want a d20. And then imagine there's a plus two on that. Oh, <clears> so an eight. I've got an eight. You put together what looks like a like a toy piano that's a bit shit. Uh, it doesn't function as a piano, but it looks like one ish. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, Keith jumps off of uh, Jeff's shoulder and he also slaps the ground with his little belly again. And he runs over and he sits there um, and he just starts slamming his fucking hands into the keyboard that doesn't work. <laughs> right, I you can definitely still do it. cannot play start, the piano. I can I still play. Applauding. I start applauding. I can still play. <laughs> Yes. Beautiful music. <laughs> uh, he's, he's he finishes his little uh, serenade after slamming his little fucking crocodile fists into the keyboard, um, and he does a little bow. Encore. Okay. <laughs> he goes back to slamming his fucking hands into the keyboard. Yeah. That doesn't work. Um. It just sort of looks like he's slapping it a little bit. I can hear like the the, the secret wooden undertones, you know. Yeah, you're the, definitely the only to one me that. It's music. Yeah, exactly. You can hear the, the the vibrations of the wood itself. Exactly. The rest of you just see um, Casta sort of like clapping him along as this tiny crocodile just slaps a shit-looking keyboard. <laughs> um, and he finishes his little performance. He bows. Um, out of breath. Um, if I could whistle, I would do the little whistle, like cheer thing, but I can't. So I just imagine I did that, and it's Caster doing it. Theory of the mind. Yeah, that was good. Theory <laughs> yeah, of the mind. Theory of the mind. Wish I could whistle. Uh, yeah, he enjoys the fact that you um, entertained him so with this little ditty, um, and he just sort of prods around around your feet. Uh, not expecting to be picked up, but he just sort of sits himself next to you. Uh, I pet him and then walk away. He purrs a little bit and then he goes, oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got those rough work, work, woodworking hands, you know. He's a hardworking man. He's got them rough hands. <laughs> oh my god. My hands look like this, so hers can look like that, and it's just cast as beaver hands versus <laughs> tiny crocodile hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you have your little fucking shenanigans around town. Um, and I feel like the session sort of come to a natural end, so I think we can leave it here. You played the exit, the <clears throat> like, exit stage left music. Oh yeah, you will um, exit stage left, and it's like... Da -da -da. But it just does that fucking over and over again. Just straight into the ocean. Yeah. <sighs> you keep walking until you are underwater. <laughs> bye. So, well, boy, howdy. <laughs> bye. bye. bye.